make no mistake, I'm a sociopath. God, that sounded evil. Let's rewind a little. I grew up all over coastal America. House after house after restraining order, everything just kind of blends in. If the divorce rate is 50-50, my mom landed on tails like eight times. So by the time I was 14, right? I moved from seven different houses and attended six different school districts. After a while, you don't see a point in making friends. The vitamin C graduation song? Yeah, I can't relate. But then one year, all of that almost changed. For the first time ever, I found myself in a school for two consecutive years, going on three. And then I like started turning pretty a month into high school, so the guys hitting on you social leverage was really awesome. The popular girls would talk to me all the time. They were just stupid. Like they'd always been pretty. Never left out. Never alone. And when I think about it, all the thinking I've ever done was when I was alone. I was nice about it and thought I'd always be nice about it. Finally in one place to build a steady reputation. And then life said, fuck that. My piece of shit gamer brother got us evicted for pirating breakbeat mixtapes. It's like not even good music. Anyway, so mom was crying, packing up the moving boxes. And that's when she told me we're moving out of state. And I just got settled. I said, fuck you, I'm living with dad. He's just a neighborhood down. I put the boxes down, go over, knock on the door and boom, a gunshot. My second Christmas killed himself. I walked in, floor looked like a whole ass video game, just blood everywhere. And get this, his suicide note was stuck to the fridge with a cookie monster magnet. All he wrote on it, Nicole's fault. I'm Nicole by the way, hi, what the fuck did I do to him? Maybe I missed the office softball game? Men are so into this revenge suicide thing. But whatever, it doesn't matter, nothing matters. I'm moving, again, city, county, state, all the same fate. But I've always said that while leaving. This time, it's on arrival. Hey, so for the senior prank this year, what if we like parked our cars where we don't usually park them? Oh my god, that is so funny. <laughs> yeah, math class this year with Mr. Burliday. <laughs> yeah, like, fuck Mr. Burliday, dude. <laughs> God, they are never funny. It's like the girls just laugh to avoid sexual assault. Hey, yo, you new to this educational prison? <laughs> wow, yeah, that was funny. Yeah, I'm getting into, like, humor and stuff. Anyway, you know anyone around here? Know where your classes are? I mean, kinda. There's, like, numbers on the doors. I think I can figure it out. No, 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 no. I, I could show you around. Like, like a school tour? You want to do that? You up for that? So then my friend got the DLC, this downloadable content. It's like $10, like, dude, kind of not worth it for the gun. Why are you talking to me about video games? Just something, you know, uh, what, you don't like play video games or something? I'm a thin girl. Do I fucking look like I play video games? I'd rather play dead at a necrophilia convention. Oh, well, yeah, you know. I know what? Did... did you hear about how Mountain Dew makes guys sterile? Yeah, from you and every other guy who reads the internet to try to be interesting. Ha! Ah, nice rolly backpack, you fucking four-eyed, double-dick-sucking bitch! Hey, stop kicking it! This backpack holds priceless reading materials! Oh yeah? Like what? The like Bernstein Bears make eye contact? Hey, what is this, fourth grade? It is home to some of my favorite manga books. Manga? What is it, like Asian or something? Japanese, thank you. Some of which go on to be very popular television shows. Wait, can't you watch half those on cartoon channels? Why the hell would you read it? Uh, oh, that's it. Dude, how do you care about anything this much? W what do you mean? Like, okay, he thinks your Chinese cartoon books are stupid. Why defend it? Stay out of this, you... you girl. I'll just let this play out. I should beat your ass for like an anime. What? What are you talking about? Yeah, do it. I'm bored. Yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah. Don't pull my hair. Oh, I broke his glasses. I got a split. Oh yeah, me too. I'm on probation. I'll catch you around. Well, why aren't you running off with them? They're pussies. I'm not afraid to watch someone grovel in pain. Well, they're all just assholes. 
That guy's been making fun of me for liking anime since the sixth grade. Then just stop liking anime? But I can't do that. Anime is my favorite thing ever. My life. How are you emotionally invested in consumption? Are you trying to make anime? I don't get it. Kinda. I make fan art based on the works of Sento Takahashi. You know that anime will exist with or without you, right? No. Wait, what do you mean? Like Senti Takamoki, whatever the fuck his name is. If you died, he wouldn't care. He wouldn't even know. What's your point? How do you give a fuck about anything that doesn't give a fuck about you? Hey, in a translated newsletter, he said thank you to each and every one of his fans. That includes me. Oh, he writes in English? No, his fan club translated it from Japanese. That's my point. He can't even talk to you. You think he cares about you? Well, uh... Anyway, you want to stick to getting beat up over children's media? I'll leave you to it. Wait! Huh? What? Thanks for talking to me. Not many people are as nice to me as you are. That was nice to you? God damn it. Yeah, I'm Jeffrey, by the way. What's your name? Ugh, Nicole. Wow. Okay. Bye, Nicole. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, you look new. The lunch line's on the other end there. Huh? You're trying to find where the lunch line starts, right? You got here a little late, so it's pretty long now. Oh, fuck! For a sec, I thought everyone else was skipping, too. Where'd you come in from? Like, just outside? There was this weird kid getting his shit handed to him. Like, weird how? I don't fucking know. Is he, like, talks about a bunch of dumb shit weird? Or, like, how can he afford someone to add her all with a job at the shop and say weird? Um, first one. Oh, glasses, bull cut. That's Jeffrey. I don't think he's all there. Like, he's too socially awkward for the normal people, but too smart for the special eddies. Can I sit here? Yeah, sure. All my friends got put in a different lunch period. What's your name? I'm Nicole. I'm Jekka. Jekka? That's like, on your birth certificate? Short for Jessica, Avi. That's pretty punk for someone who dresses... so... Preppy? Yeah, my mom works corporate for department stores, so I get all this expensive stuff for free, but trust me, I don't give a fuck. Cool, yeah, same. Nicole! You ready for day two? Is someone gonna kill me day two? If so, absolutely. Why? What happened? Just, like, waking up in general hurts. And I gotta deal with my brother, who's still up from the night before eating a family box of anything. He can eat family-sized meals? How old is he? Like, 26. He just freeloads off my mom. I mean, we kind of freeload too, but we're 16. It's cool when we do it. Exactly. I have to tell him that when I'm woken up by loud chewing noises. Is he fat? Do you know what ex-bodybuilder fat is? Yeah, I kind of know what that looks like. Well, he's an obese monster. I was just curious if anyone else knew that bodybuilder phrase. He's not that. Good to know. Hey, let's gossip more at lunch. I gotta get to class. Dude, fuck class. Just skip with me. I told you yesterday, if I skip anymore, my mom's gonna start giving me disciplinary tattoos. How does it even work? What does she write on you? It'd be some weird shit, like, I love school on my fingers. Isn't that, like, abusive? She's the only mom I've ever had. How the fuck should I know? Huh. So where are you headed? Look, it's the first day! No funny guys, no comedians, no bringers of the haha, okay? This year's gym class isn't last year's gym class. We're gonna really buckle down on physical fitness. I'm fit as fuck, I ain't buckling shit. <laughs> <laughs> Young lady, what's your name? Nicole, you want my phone number too? <laughs> this is only the first class, Nicole. You won't be a problem all year, will you? No, sorry. Good! Now everybody better dress out every class. If you don't, it's a zero. Hit the locker rooms. I'll see you back here in ten. Where the hell did I put the shirt? Why does it even need the school logo? I'll just bring my own shitty shirts. Having trouble, Nicole? Um, can you... you can't be in here. Saw you were lagging behind. I thought you might need a spare shirt. Oh, thanks. Stop looking. Now, please. You know something? You're feisty. I like that in my female students. I got a feeling you like something else in your female students, too. See, you just snap back like that. I like it. It's sexy. You are saying this to a 16-year-old in the girls' locker room. Come on. What's age? Look at you. You're mature enough. Ah! The gym teacher's trying to fuck! 
Johnny, quiet down there. I need this job. He won't get his hands off this minor ass. Oh my God, what are you doing in the girls' locker room? Were you really grabbing some minor ass? Minor is in underage. I think my ass is pretty major, to be honest. I've been at this school for 15 years. No one will believe you. The security cameras will. I know installing those spy ca security cameras would screw me over. This might sound fucked up, but I'm almost happy our gym teacher was a pedophile. I'm definitely happy our gym teacher was a pedophile. Do you see all this cool shit we bought? Yeah, the settlement money is pretty nice. My mom was like, oh, it's hush money. I'm like, whatever. The media wouldn't pay us nearly this much. Who needs morals when you have designer? I guess, yeah. So what's up? Just wanted to chat with a pretty girl. About? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I just like looking at you. Why do girls say they like older men? You're just as boring as younger men. I could show you a fun time a lot of these high school boys couldn't. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and I'll prove it, too. Hang up by the back entrance, and I'll pick you up after school. You have money to spend on me, right? Like, at least a couple hundred? Oh, I got more than a couple hundred. Like, 370. Shit, I'm just a kid. That's a lot for me. Let's do it. Sounds like a date, sexy. Can I call you sexy? I mean, the news would call me a victim, but what do they know, right? Anyway, I'll see you tonight, man. Nicole, Nicole, could you call me coach? See you tonight, coach. So, uh, how's your drink so far? My non-alcoholic Sprite is just wonderful. This day kind of sucks so far. Could you get me high or something? You want a sip of my screwdriver? Sure, thanks. Can I have some more? Some more? Sure, how many? How many sips would equal four glasses? I can't have you stumbling out of here wasted. People would start suspecting something. I'm one-third your age. That ship's sail, coach. I know, it's such a rush. You feeling it too? Um, sure. So can I have money? Not so fast, sexy. I was thinking you could come back to my place to collect. Yeah, coach, I'm down. Good girl. Just so you know, you're gonna have to earn it. Do whatever you want. The money outweighs the trauma. Come on, sexy. Let's get out of here. After you, coach. I came to this new school with the full intention of fucking around. Life was hopeless, so sleeping with my gym teacher was just a drop in the bucket. You could say the major mistake was going home with a stranger, but honestly, most strangers are fine as long as they're not into necrophilia. The second I stepped in, he locked the door behind us, grabbing my neck and squeezing really fucking tight. The last thing I remember was the rush in his eyes while the life slipped from mine. I didn't know her that well, but tell Jekka she's cool for me. As for my family, they can fuck off and burn in hell with me. See you soon, Dad. Yeah, I'll go home with you. You just earned an A for the year, young lady. Hey, why don't you put your hand on my thigh? Give me a preview. I bet the skin on him's smooth and tight. Everything's tight when you're 16. Oh, that's nice. Of all the students I've dated, you're my favorite. Ah, get your hand off my leg! Help! Stop! What the fuck are you doing? Sir, back away from the girl. What's the problem here? This is my gym teacher. He just started getting all... 
Joshua out of nowhere! Is this true, sir? No, well, well yes, but... Uh, they have the gym teachers do sexual education now. What's eating ass have to do with sexual education? Oh, oh yeah. Is that true? Did you tell her to eat your ass out? No, I wanted to eat hers. I, I mean, uh... Sorry, officer. That was just a false alarm. Oh, thank God. He just said he wanted to come all over me. No big deal, right, coach? What? Well, coach, the only place you're coming is downtown. You fucking bitch! I'll, I'll kill you and, you and your whole family, too! Hey, man, I got you arrested. You don't gotta do me that favor. Well, are you gonna tell me? Tell you what? You know what. Everyone's texting about what happened at the barcade yesterday. That's what they call those places? Men will invent any phrase to make their video games less embarrassing. So it is true. What happened? Did Coach promise you a good grade or something? First of all, how does anyone even know I was there? I didn't file any charges. Some guy who goes here snapped a picture of you at the table with him. Wow, a real vigilante. No, he just does that for his private collection of girls who go here. You getting caught with the gym teacher on camera was pure coincidence. Okay, well, I kind of baited him into harassing me. Nicole, that's fucked up. What if you get harassed for real one day and no one believes you because of that? Oh yeah, I guess a date with your high school gym teacher was a perfectly fine situation. I'll leave it alone next time, thanks. Okay, point taken, bitch. So what, he groped you and someone saw, or...? Well, no, I told him to grope me and just screamed. Oh my god, so that was premeditated on your part. Mostly. So why'd you even go out with him in the first place if you knew it'd just end in a shit show? You know, don't have a great answer for that. I just did it because I could. The more I thought about it, the more leverage I knew I had. But he's twice your size. He could have killed you. Yeah, but not when other people were around. The second he decided to date a minor, he lost the game of life. Now he's in jail, lost his job, most of his friends. If he had a family, they probably bailed too. And if someone tries to put the blame on the minor, they look... Like a monster, exactly. Susan B. Anthony or whoever the fuck got women this far, but I got it from here. Hey man, I love to catch an R, but I got homework. It's a weeknight, you know? Nah, uh, I guess you're right. Hey, but one day we'll make something happen. I can't let my sexy student get away now. Oh my god, you're so bad. Your gym coach has been around the block, sweetie. Yeah, well, sorry it didn't work out. I've had less periods than states in America, but again, sorry it didn't work out. If your BMI is under 25, you should just automatically get an A. Do something, bitch! Dude, shut up, who cares? You think you're getting far with that mentality? You gotta nut up, Nicole. Oh, sorry, I didn't know dodgeball was a long-term goal for you. You know, what if? What if it's a long-term goal for me, huh? I'd feel sorry for you, because I'm pretty sure they canceled Extreme Dodgeball like two years ago. You saw that show too? That's sick! You know, you're kind of cool for a girl. Thanks. Uh, sorry, you're just not a person who warrants return compliments. Man, you're honest too? That's kind of hot. Hey, do you want to, want to like, hang out later? Like, hang out where? Oh, you know, my place, maybe? I got this really cool stereo. Your dad bought a really cool stereo? That's cool. So... So are you down? I guess... sure? When do I come by? Anytime tonight. My parents are out of town trying to find a boarding school to put me in. Sound good? Yeah, I'll swing by. Sweet, you're down to fucking everything. This is gonna rock. Well, no, the only thing down is my serotonin levels. What's serotonin? Is that like printer ink? E yes I'll go. Now stop talking to me. But yeah, so I'm pretty into cool shit. You know, not like cool, cool shit. But kind of that step away from the regular cool shit. Like just doing my own thing, you know? All I asked was, are you paying for the pizza and you just went into that? Whatever, you know, stuff at school. Just on my mind and everything. What do you want to talk about? Lacrosse, maybe? Does lacrosse involve beating the shit out of that one kid? What one kid? The one who likes Japan a lot? Jeffrey? What? Oh, yeah, totally. Me and the other guys fuck with his ass all the time. Yeah? How many fingers? Not like that. 
just throwing lacrosse balls at him and watching him chump. Nice. Yeah, him suffering just makes me feel good for some reason. Yeah, that's hot. Speaking of that, you know that one girl, Jekka? I, I can't remember her last name. I know her. She dresses really expensive and everything. She's cool. Yeah, cool, like in a stuck-up bitch way. What'd she do to you? Nothing. But girls with that sort of attitude? I don't know. Like, I want to have sex with her to knock her down a few pegs. What the fuck is wrong with you? How is that wrong? Whatever. All men are rapists anyway. You're just a drop in the bucket. Is there even money in lacrosse? Well, the pizza party after games is like $80 or something. No, like memorabilia, autographs, anything? Well, my regional trophy is made of gold, so pretty valuable. I tapped it on the way in here. Pretty sure it's plastic. I guess the paint's made of real gold then. Does anyone famous play lacrosse? Have a signed ball or something? The greatest lacrosse player of this era is probably Cody Simpson, but I lost one of his signed jerseys last year. It was worth so much. Oh wow, for real? How much are we talking? Dude, bro, like $90? So there's no money in playing it, no money collecting it. What's the point? That's kinda what makes lacrosse so awesome. It's not about the money or commercials. The true payment comes in honor. Girls so dig honor. Honor won't pay for my new outfits. How do you buy into any of this shit? Who cares? Uh, do you listen to music? Or is it just Eye of the Tiger pregame playlists? Yeah, I like music. I like bands. Guitars and drums. Yep, that about covers it. What bands specifically? You know, the Midnight Supernova. Who the fuck are the Midnight Supernova? When did they start? Like, just now, because I just made it up? Someone who cares would awkwardly try to continue this conversation, but I don't. Wow, it's like, it's just the way you don't even give a fuck. It's hot, I like it. All these girls always freaking out over whatever, but you? You want to try, like, going steady? Going steady? People still say that? Like a relationship? Yeah, you could be my girlfriend and everything. What a treat. So how about it? You want to date? Uh, how does hell no sound? What? The 20 minutes I've been here is already way more than I could chew. You don't think athletes are emotional? We could be deep. It's not that you're an athlete. You're a lacrosse player. There's no offhand chance I miss out on a millionaire husband. Literally no one gives a shit about lacrosse but the people who play it. That's not true. My dad likes lacrosse. And did he play it? Yeah, but not right now. Are you... Pretending to be stupid? There's like no way. This is some big joke, right? No, I, I wouldn't pull a joke on you. I I'm just stupid. Totally retarded. You ever heard that one phrase, we can either choose intelligence or happiness? Um, no. Well, assuming it's real, I don't feel bad telling you to never talk to me again. Your dipshit brain shouldn't take it too hard. N no, y you, don't, you don't understand. You're not. Are you crying? It's just... No. You're being mean to me. Whoa, hey, um, don't... You know. Maybe Coach was right. Um... Sorry? No, it's whatever. I'll just go to the lacrosse convention alone this weekend. That's why I wanted a girlfriend, I guess. Oh, you're going alone? I guess. Whatever. This is awkward. I'll just jump off the roof so I have a good excuse not to go. Ugh. Do you want me to go to the lacrosse convention with you? you? You would do that? I guess. Oh, cool. I'll pick you up this weekend. Thanks. Can I get some Percocet for going? Oh, yeah. My prescription's on the dresser. Just take it when you walk out. I guess I'm walking out now, then. No. No? Just like that? Give me a chance, dude. Sorry, but I'm too smart to date you. How am I not smart enough? How? Do you see this room? What, because I like sports? We're not all dumb jocks, you know? Who cares if you like sports? You're just boring. Like, yeah, your coach gives you free Percocet and everything, but how does that make you cool? So, what do I do? Impress me or die trying? So, if I die, you'll be my girlfriend? No, isn't... <sighs> Look... I'm sick of the same boring kid trying to take me out on his parents' money. 
I want a guy who's not afraid to ruin his life for me. And when I see that, I'll know you're worth dating. Oh. I don't know. Lost interest, huh? Good, nice talking. But I'll do it! What? I don't have it all figured out yet, but like, I'm gonna do some amazing shit to make you love me. You're so worth it for sure. Aw, if I didn't have PTSD, I'd be blushing right now. Awesome! I'll see you at school next week. I got a few things to work on. So, I can go now? Yeah. Is there something wrong? No, just surprised I didn't get sexually assaulted for telling you no. Oh, nah, I wouldn't do that. You want my key? Like, to my house? Why would I want a key to your house? Just letting you know you're, you're always welcome. Take my key. Take it, take my key. Okay. Him? Yeah, what's wrong? I'm just kidding, I know what's wrong with him. But like, you went over to his house. He's a total jock. You know what jocks do. Get molested by their coach? Yeah, and then they take it out on you. When he got you a drink. Did you watch him pour it? He never got me a drink. Well, no drink? Did he offer a drink? Did not offer a drink. What a fucking asshole. See, they're all like this, too. At least I didn't get drugged. I'd rather get drugged than not offered a drink. You know, what's fun about us is our priorities are drastically different. So anything else from last night? Yeah, he really wants me to be his girlfriend, but you know. He has the temper problem, right? How'd you turn him down gently? I didn't turn him down. I challenged him to win me over. Under the assumption there's some chance I could like him. But in reality, there's no chance? None. Well, good luck with that. Do you want my number in case he revenge kidnaps you? I think I already have your number. But yes, the rumors were true. Your beloved gym teacher, Coach Colby, was having illicit relationships with some of your classmates. Rock on, Coach! Carla. <laughs> anyway, his position of gym teacher has been terminated and will be replaced by next week. If any students had unfortunate run-ins with this behavior, my office is always open to talk about it. Yeah, I was in his class, and he always wanted to try and guess what kind of underwear we had on. Oh, I remember that. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. Both of you. Well, no, the fucked up part was he always guessed it right. It's like he was psychic. Or spying on you. Now, Nicole, just because he made a mistake or two doesn't mean he would actively spy on the girls' locker room. Why do you feel the need to be pessimistic? Uh, cause I'm a victim of that psycho. You too? Uh, yeah, he, he like locked me in his office and did things. Like what? Now, Kyler, you should know it's disrespectful of your classmate to ask the details of her sexual assault. I mean, I kinda wanna hear. Class dismissed. <laughs> Everyone out but Nicole. I'd like to have a word with you. Can we fast forward this to the part where you tell me I'm not alone so I can leave? Well, I wouldn't give any old lecture to you, Nicole. One of our brightest students deserves better. I have a C-plus average. Not to mention beautiful. I just love to see you whimsically stroll up and down the hallways between classes. Is this happening right now? Nicole, how would you feel about participating in some... extracurricular learning exercises? Will I learn how to exercise my right to say no? Now, now, be serious. My car's nearby in the staff parking lot. I have the key fob which starts the air conditioning remotely. Oh, well now you're winning me over. How about it? I could help you with your homework using the faculty answer keys. And I can tell you have many ways of repaying me just by looking at you. Okay, calm down! Forget I said anything! Dude, you can't get rejected and then pretend you didn't ask me out. Quick! Principal Lynn! Anyone? What is going on in here? Nicole, why are you screaming? He literally just invited me over to fuck. Excuse me, is this true? Uh, well, I didn't use the F word. It's like every week now. Security! Yes, Principal? Arrest this man for criminal misconduct. Now let's remain reasonable here. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against Fuck! you and- No! This is all your fault, you fucking whore! Wow, that was mean. He also threatened to kill me if I didn't have sex with him, so throw that somewhere in the charges. 
Come with me. No, don't! Don't listen to her! Bring the car around front. What's happening? Why is the counselor in handcuffs? What the fuck is everyone out here for? Today was the school bake sale. Apparently, you picked the worst day to ask a student out. Oh my god, another pedophile. Tell me about it. Sorry, sir. I guess I get flustered around dominant male authority figures. <laughs> oh, um, well, th that's no excuse. Class dismissed. Except for you, Nicole. Oh, bitch, sucks to be you. Sucks to like lacrosse, you fucking field hockey reject. Now that your classmates are gone, you want to get out of here with me? I'm sorry, what? Don't play naive, Nicole. I saw the way you looked at me. I've seen the way you've been looking at me since you got to this school. Your dominant male authority figures here to take you away. Oh. So you're, like, actually going for it. As the counselor, I could sign you out early. We could spend the rest of the afternoon together. The evening, too. You know I'm 16, right? Age is just a number. Hmm. Well, I guess saying that makes you just a pedophile, so what's the worst that could happen? See, there's that open-mindedness our program really tries to promote. Yeah, and believe me, your mind's gotta be wide open to date your guidance counselor. Like, your brain won't even fit. <laughs> Such a funny girl. Come with me. This way, Nicole. Hey, it's our counselor! Could we interest you in some homemade cake? Five dollars! What is this? Fine, okay, four dollars. Why is everyone out here? You work here and didn't know the school bake sales today? So you knew and let us go this way anyway? Were you guys just leaving together? Did the new girl get suspended or something? No, actually, he was taking me out on a date. Nicole! Up here! How'd he get on the roof? <gasps> what? You wanted not boring? Well, you got it. I'm gonna jump! Oh, shit! Oh, oh, what's what's going, going on? What is this? Kyler! Get down from there now! No problem. I'm gonna stick the greatest landing of all time for you, Nicole! <laughs> Am I awake right now? Don't worry, Miss Lynn. MySpace showed me how to land risky jumps without injury. I'm coming down! No! no! Stay there! Do something, Nicole. You're the only one he'll listen to. Isn't this your job? I don't care if he gets himself killed. Now's not the time. Just keep him talking. Fine. Uh, Kyler? What is it? Last thing before I jump! If you jump... I'll be your girlfriend for sure! I never thought you were serious about this! I am! I love you more than lacrosse! And if we're still together in two years, I'll marry you after graduation! <gasps> what the fuck are you doing? Oh, sick! Here goes nothing! Oh, he really oh, jumped! Ah! <laughs> Ow. Oh my god. Oh shit! My legs are in pieces! Somebody call 911! Somebody already did. Step aside. I'll have to call his parents. How severe is it? I'm no doctor, but I don't think he'll ever walk again. What? Let's go. But lacrosse! Will I be able to play lacrosse? Well, if you can't walk... Oh my god! Nicole! Nicole! What? I'm right here. It's fucked up, but I don't think I'll be able to support us as a pro lacrosse player anymore. That was the plan? But it doesn't mean anything. We'll figure it out together. Right? Sorry. I only date men who can walk. What? But I did all this for you! I didn't ask for all this. But now I, c I can't walk! Sucks to be you, dude. <laughs> All right, go! Nicole, do you need to talk? About what? How men do stupid shit for you when you're pretty? Well, I've been there too, but... Okay, you're fine. I... Uh... Kind of. Probably. Sure, yeah. As long as I have you, I'll be okay. All right, go. So what do you tell him? 
I gave a very loose yes to being his girlfriend. That should keep him stable in whatever mental ward they ship him off to. Nicole, uh, is there anything you learned today? That men will do literally anything for sex? But honestly, I learned that years ago. So if you knew that, why did you actively encourage him in the first place? I wanted to see what literally anything looked like. Hmm. You're smarter than I was at your age. Duh, I have internet. Of course. So the school's probably shut down for the rest of the day. Where are you headed? Do I even have to ask? Ask what? You know what. Oh yeah, the school security guard's single. Go for it, Mom. Not that! I didn't fucking do anything! A boy jumped off a building to prove his love to you. You had to have done something. This is like the third time now. Did you egg him on? No. Not really, maybe. Of course. Okay, this shouldn't even be the main issue today. The school counselor tried having sex with me. You expect me to believe that? A boy literally kills himself the same day a teacher molests you? You must be the least lucky girl on earth. Uh, yeah, I am. And he didn't even kill himself. He's fine in the hospital. I just got off the phone with your principal and he was pronounced dead 20 minutes ago. What? How? It was just his legs. His pelvis shattered into his intestines. He internally bled out. Oh my god. Is it finally setting in? Yeah. I forgot to go to his house and steal his Percocet. His parents probably threw it out by now. <sighs> you better hope they don't sue us over this. Really glad I let him give me that key now. If he's in the hospital for a month, he won't be missing any of his shit. Oh my god, there's enough Percocet here to get surgery awake. I'm snagging all of this. How many milligrams to just stop feeling emotions in general? Yeah, so I went a little crazy the first week of having an endless supply of opioids. Mom found me strung out on the bedroom floor and called 911 to get my stomach pumped. Now I'm in rehab against my will. I wish they had rehab for not ugly people, because all these toothless meth heads keep hitting on me. At first I thought it'd be fun because you get away from school, but they have a fucking tutor here. It's bullshit. I'm going to hang myself tonight. Just kidding. Not really, though. give a shit if you stick some awesome landing. What? Really? Yeah, really, cuz like- Cuz you love me for me! You don't need some wild display of courage to be my girlfriend! No, actually, I'm just not gonna be your girlfriend either way. You had zero chance from the start if it makes you feel any better. What? No! Why did you say that? No, Kyler, it's okay. Just take some deep breaths, back off from the ledge. All I deserve is a deep plunge! You did this, Nicole! Oh, God! Oh, shit. What was that 90s TV show? Did I do that? I'm traumatized right now, but that was actually pretty good. How can you girls make jokes at a time like this? Your classmate just took his life. Yeah, you were about to take me out on a date. Fuck off, pedophile. Pedophile? Was this boy molested to the point of suicide? No, it's just our guidance counselor trying to molest... Me? No big deal. Well, I should alert the police. Already here. Yeah, this place is wild after that. I can't even understand how it happened. Hey, do you guys know where the janitor's closet is? I'm trying to sell him something. Sorry, I, I don't know anything. Yeah, I can tell you. Bye. What the fuck was that? Hey, anime kid, do you know- ah, I'm sorry, I'll go! 
Why? There you are. Hey, why is everyone avoiding me? Uh, the only word on the street is you manipulated Kyler into killing himself. I barely did anything. My god, don't get defensive. I'm on your side like half the girls are. Why? How? He didn't even know me. Exactly. All he liked you for was looks, meaning you're pretty enough that a boy would literally die for you. It's like awesome. I want to be you. What's your secret? Secret? It's... I just told him to work for it. That's it. Yeah, I tell guys that too. They aren't jumping off buildings for me. This is so not what I thought would happen after this. So many girls are just happy over this. Look, I know it's bad because he's dead or whatever, but like, honestly, fuck him. He was an asshole. The world's better off. I don't disagree with you. Hi, Nicole. Uh, could I ask you something? Yeah, ask her anything. Uh, we're kind of best friends, by the way. Oh, well, I was just wondering if it's okay if I put my hair up like yours. If you're okay with that. It's a free police day. Do what you want. Awesome. Thanks. Bye. You saw that. Yeah. You gotta do something with this. Get famous with it. Like, you could be one of those famous YouTube girls. Hey, guys, I'm so hot boys kill themselves over me. I was with you on everything except famous. You don't want to be famous? No, just no one on YouTube's famous famous. Well, I know that. Just like YouTube famous. Come on. All right, but I don't have a camera or anything. We'll just record it at my house. I have a Mac and everything. You want to just skip right now and do that? Fucking of course. Let's go. Eight months later, I'm kind of a big deal on YouTube. The first video we did went viral in like a week. All these news stations were calling for an interview, schools wanted me to do assemblies. Oh, and a million sponsorships. For companies I don't even like, but they pay, so whatever. I was definitely right about YouTube fame, because I tried hanging out with the guy who played McLovin, and he just ignored every text. Well, hold on. I might have a way easier idea here. Okay, let's see it. Call over the weird nerdy kid. Jeffrey, can you help me hold my books? Huh? Yeah, of course. Anything for you. Where's the books? Hi, Jeffrey. Uh, Nicole. Hi there. What's wrong, Jeffrey? Just looking for a new friend to chat with. Am I no good? Uh, no, you're fine. It's just, I I'm afraid of you. Afraid you'll use your emotional prowess to manipulate me into killing myself. Is that what those boys are saying? Yes, you'd be correct. Well, guess what? What? They're right! Ah! You don't want to fall in love with me, do you? Yes! I mean, no, I mean, I, I don't know! You're a smart boy, right? Let's make a deal. You do all my homework and slip me every test answer, and I won't force you to kill oh. yourself! Really? You do that for me? I never thought a girl would be this nice to me. Say yes before I change my mind. Uh, of course. I'll get right on it. Uh, see you tomorrow. I don't believe what I just saw. Yeah, I don't believe it either, but there's no way this will last. But seriously, is it like your whole emo look they're into, or what? Yeah, long flowing ponytail. Very emo. So, he stuck with that deal all the way to the end of graduation. I'm valedictorian for the class of 09. He was still doing all that homework even after everyone stopped caring about the suicide. Which was like a month, so Jeffrey's an outlier. For my speech, I just read quotes from an AA brochure and people ate it up. Special thanks to lacrosse.
So, gym class, showing our education system is pure evil. Why do you talk like a cartoon? What do you mean? If I talked like a cartoon, I'd go, what's up, Doc? No, it's just this general, haha, I'm random cartoon channel talk. Have you ever watched television for adults? What? Do you mean like porn? No, just normal. Never mind. Huh, because I like some wild porn here and there. You probably couldn't handle it. Try me. Huh? Most girls just scream and run when I say that. You're different. Well, are you gonna tell me or not? Why do you wanna know? Uh, everybody knows the coolest guys have depraved fetishes. Have you been on the internet? Maybe I'm looking for a boyfriend who can keep up with me. Uh, uh, alright. See me at lunch today. Maybe we could talk about it then. I'm so there. Awesome. Finally, someone to share my escapism with. Escapism? Yeah, I get lost in all these weird websites to get away from my gun nut stepdad. I think he was in Iraq or something. Doesn't matter anyway. I think Mom's already looking for a new guy. A house full of depraved porn and firearms. What could possibly go wrong? What was that? Oh, just... I've wanted to chat like this for so long. So you like him how much taller than you exactly? At least like 12 feet taller? Preferably 50. I want to be picked up with only two of her fingers. And what do you call that again? It's a giantess fetish. A woman so tall she can't even see those minute details about me. Like how I can't tie my shoes. Yeah, I wouldn't want anyone to see that either. This is cool, what else? Really? Uh, well, I like it when cute girls walk all over me. Huh, you know, most people hate when they're taken advantage of. No, I mean, literally walk all over me? Love to be stepped on by a cute pair of feet. Well, hey, it beats stepping on a scale, right? But yeah, unfortunately, most of my fetishes can only be realized through my anime. The realm of the living isn't quite ready for 50-foot-tall vixens. Yeah, the real world sucks hard, dude. Did I mention how I liked girls with cat ears and tails? Do they meow when you have sex with them? Well, I... wouldn't know. Haven't done one yet? I haven't done... anyone before. Shocker. I wonder if the library has volume 31 yet. Hey there, Jeffrey. Things better with your dad yet? Oh, hello, Jekka. Unfortunately, no. He used my toothbrush to clean out his new assault rifle he bought from China. Wow, messed up much? Anyway, could you buy me another Diet Coke? Sorry, but I can't anymore. My mom's been wondering where all my lunch money's been going. Aw, you're mean. You don't like me anymore. Again, I'm sorry. I just don't know. Maybe I should grow 40 feet. Then you'd really like me. Hey, <laughs> how'd you... <laughs> Maybe if you took your shoes off and stepped on his face. I can't believe this. She told everyone. It's okay, Jeffrey. Run away with me. I'll stuff you in my back pocket. Ugh, just shut up. He's feisty today. Meow. <laughs> So again, while I find the notes flattering, the boys need to quit writing bad bitch on my office door. I'll start tracking who left them if it continues. Well, it definitely wasn't Jeffrey. Oh? Fuck, you heard that? Why is it definitely not Jeffrey? Because you're not a cat. <laughs> Settle down now. I've heard the rumors going around about him, and you should all be ashamed of yourselves. Ah. <sighs> Thank you. I was really... Just because he prefers alternative forms of sexual intercourse does not mean he should be ridiculed. Oh my god. Uh... Sorry, I'm a little out of the loop. What do you mean by alternative? Oh god. Jeffrey here prefers to be stepped on by women who look like cats, as opposed to standard intercourse with a human woman. <laughs> Will this stop? Class dismissed. <laughs> You did this. Did what? Told everyone my darkest secrets. That was in confidence. 
Guess I did. Sorry. You ruined my life. I haven't touched my manga in forever. Not even cartoons entertain me anymore. Relatable. Do you even care? Do the results of your actions mean anything to you? Yeah, when they affect me, sure. No one in the realm of the living ever liked me anyway. Maybe things would make sense if I was dead. Maybe. I've had to start taking medication since you betrayed me. I also waited for everyone to leave just so you'd be the only one to hear this. Tonight when my mom's out with her new boyfriend, I'm gonna take the entire bottle. I'm going to kill myself. What? You chose to start this. But I won't give you a choice in stopping it. I mean, you don't have to kill yourself over this, do you? In the realm of the living, I am nothing more than a punchline for others' amusement. This is not the purpose I desired. Well, what is? I don't know. So if you die now, you'll never know. Don't try to talk me out of it. There's really no place for people like me. What are people like you like? I want 40-foot-tall women with cat features to step on me. You really think that's the end of the world, though? What do you mean? So you want more than missionary. Big deal. Okay, so it's not the end of the world. It's still the end of my social life. Jeffrey, what social life? All you did was read anime books before. You're still reading anime books now. Did you stop jerking off to porn of comically tall women? No. So what's the problem? Seems like everything's going according to plan. You know... You're right. The only thing that's different is everyone knows now. Who cares? Yeah, before they just assumed it. Gosh, thanks, Nicole. You're a really good friend. Uh, I'm sorry, what was that last word? Maybe I'll see you in lunch tomorrow. Company always keeps the suicidal thoughts away. See ya. This is what empathy gets you. I'm sorry, did you think I have any form of emotional attachment to you? Why else would you have talked to me in the first place? Why would you have lunch with someone you don't like? It... it was funny. I knew you'd say some embarrassing shit. So you used me. You were a new student trying to look cool, so you just used me. No shit. In what world does a girl like me take interest in you? If you're that fucking stupid, maybe you should kill yourself. Fine. I'll give you your satisfaction. But not before getting mine first. You're the only girl I ever loved. Even if it wasn't real. You knew me for two days. Bye. I would have left a note. But there's only a two-second window between staring down the barrel of a gun and dying. I'm not even mad I'm dead. Through all the news coverage that'll cry about me for a week and him for a century, it might be best for both of us they rarely get the facts straight. They'll tell you I was a sweet, innocent girl who'd never turn an entire school against the anime kid. They'll also tell you he was a twisted mastermind who didn't want to fuck fictionally tall women. So yeah, he seems cooler than me now. But try talking to him.
No one cares. Just stop. For a nerd, you're not too smart socially, huh? Hey, I'm just trying to have fun here. And I'm not a nerd. I'm a geek. There's a difference. Sorry, which one grows up to be a rapist? And which one grows up to be a pedophile? Ugh, you and everyone else at this school. I'm sick of being the butt of everyone's jokes. Dude, whatever. The blatant disrespect, snickering behind my back, fake love notes beating me up. Okay, really didn't need your life story here. Stealing my stuff, egging my house, blackmailing me, calling my mom at work and telling her I'm dead. They go that hard here? And hanging me from the bleachers with a rope weak enough to snap right before I choke to death. I'm sick of all of it, and I guess you ought to be on that list too, huh? Uh, I guess not. You... you don't? Well, the way you put it made it seem like way too much effort anyway, so... Wow, you know, you're actually kind of nice. That's nice? Yeah, will you sit at lunch with me? I got a table all to myself, right outside the pizza line. I'd like to, but I told someone else I was gonna sit with them today, so sorry. Oh, who? Fuck, I forgot I'm new here. Are you gonna buy me lunch or anything, or is this a full-on charity seating? I pack lunch, but my mom always makes too much. We could share mine. How does that sound? Ah, uh, your lunch isn't some weird shit, right? Like hot dog slices and white rice? Nah, good old-fashioned tuna fish sandwiches. A classic, if you ask me. And the easiest sandwich to fuck up. So, are you going, or...? Fine. Awesomeness! I can tell you all about the new cartoon episodes if you missed any last week. Shucks. Yeah, you know, I've actually missed all the new cartoons for the last 200 weeks. Ugh, so behind. Why would you do this to yourself? Yeah, I have no idea why I'm doing this to myself either. Hey, what are you cripples doing? Finding new things to cut yourselves with? Uh, well, actually, this weirdo is just hitting on me. Can you believe it? Wow, Jeff, didn't know you liked girls. Who is this Jeff you speak of? The name's Jeffrey, thank you. Yeah, see? More of that cartoon-sounding shit. He won't stop talking to you or something? Yeah, make yourself useful and kick his ass for me. You're hot enough to listen to, sure. Oh, please, no. Not in the face. My glasses are brand new. Can't we just read some manga instead? Hey, how you doing? Uh, just coping. Coping with what? Just the power I have as a girl. Did you come here from the feminist seminar? No, Jim. What happened? Like, okay, I pretty much just got the lacrosse kid to beat the shit out of the anime kid. Jealous? I wanted to watch. Wasn't much of a fight, honestly. Oh, did he do the nerd fight thing where he just hugged onto him really tight? Yeah, fine with missing that. Dude, it's not even the fight. Just, like, how I got it to happen. I didn't promise a date, or sex, or anything, and he just went with it. The way you're processing this is kind of scary, to be honest. What? You never manipulated someone before? No, I technically do it all the time. I've just never verbalized it like that. Are we bad people? I don't know. I'm still just trying to process why he'd fistfight for someone he barely knows. Because you're pretty? Pretty what? No, you're just really pretty. But like, that pretty? No way. If you're gonna be one of those girls who fish for compliments 24-7, I'm gonna find someone else to sit with. No, seriously, like, what are they worked up over? <sighs> You're cute, long flowing hair, and big boobs. Okay, I was fishing for compliments. Knew it. But seriously, like, why aren't we consciously using this to our advantage? Using being pretty? It's called stripping. Stripping's for women who never had the conversation we're having right now. Dumb bitches who are like, Wow, everyone's so helpful. You really think he's nice because he's into me? And that's like half my friends. Oh my god. What? No way. And then, and then, Oh no, I'm 26 and ran out of guys hitting me up. Life is so unfair. Well, does anyone really run out of guys? Run out of good ones real quick. Oh yeah. So this new philosophy, unveiled manipulation. How long are you running with it? Till graduation? Till death. So, it's been a few months since we moved. How's school going? Like, academically or socially? Everything, anything. Honestly, it's going pretty good. Oh, that's great to hear. I know moving schools can be hard. And if I cared, it absolutely would be. But Mom, 
I figured out that if you just don't engage with other people's emotions or desires, nothing's a burden. Excuse me? Like, I'll put it like this. Anytime a guy asks for my company, asks me out, asks for anything, and I make decisions entirely for myself, not concerned with their feelings, there's no stress. Honey, that sounds a little mean-spirited, don't you think? Yeah, well, what's the alternative? Being used to do shit? People, especially men, are the perfect pawns when you don't give a fuck about them or whatever they want. <sighs> I won't argue. I'll just hope you learn how to interact like a human being when you're a senior. So you're telling me it's a requirement for women to be pushovers or sociopathic? What the fuck happened to feminism, Mom? Nicole, I don't know any woman who actively considers feminism. We vote and work. It's just a fun thing to say. Okay, well, fuck feminism. I'm starting Nicoleism. Nicoleism. Yeah, the main concept is girls removing all the emotional attachment from anyone. Uh, I'm sure you'll meet a nice boy soon and you'll be all over this. How can I meet a nice boy when all men are just rapists and pedophiles? Is fucking kids nice, Mom? This conversation is over. And so you see, the aperture actually gets wider the lower the f-stop gets. Did I really forget my eyeliner? Ahem. Ahem. Dude, you really need that cough like that. It's kind of annoying. This isn't cosmetics class, Nicole. I know that. So pay attention to the photography lecture in photography class. I'll be done in like two seconds. Just calm down. Now, Nicole. Okay, fine. Wonderful. As I was saying... You can't talk like that to her. I can talk any way I like, Jessica. That's not my name. See? You don't respect any of the girls. A guy could just whip his dick out in here and you just politely say, that's enough. You're on thin ice right now. You're on your fourth wife right now because you couldn't make it as a photographer. <laughs> I heard it was only three. That's it. Both of you have detention this afternoon. Great. I feel like I see you two every week now. Swear to God, it wasn't even our fault. What she said, except for the swear to God part. I like to think God isn't keeping tabs on 17-year-old girls. Oh, so in your spiritual worldview, God only keeps tabs on fully matured women? Yeah, Miss Lynn. Back that divine ass up. Enough. When it comes to repeat offenders, it's no longer a them problem, it's a you problem. And? Yeah, I really don't see what you're getting at. Would either of you like to explain to me why you're in my office from photography yet again? Nicole? What? Yes, Nicole. Do tell. He didn't already tell you? Oh, he did. I'm just curious to hear your side of the story. And Mr. White said... Said you were talking out of turn with extreme vulgarity. Well, yeah, you would too if he was groping you all over mid-lecture. Excuse me? Yeah, what? Mr. White is a pervert and he's been pulling this shit for like years now. Really now? Oh, you don't believe me? Your friend Jessica here was there too and also seems quite surprised at your claim. Well, she's just in shock from years of abuse, right? You could call it that. Uh-uh, I see what's going on here. Just because I'm an openly feminist woman in power doesn't mean I'll believe any girl who walks in with a last-minute accusation. Well, I guess you're just a non-feminist woman in power because I'm catching ours left and right from this fucking guy and you don't even believe me. Oh, would you like me to call your parents then? It's so serious they should know too, don't you agree? Oh my god. Uh, you know, yeah, do it. I'll be in the back room then. What are you doing? Not getting in trouble? What if she calls my parents too over the shit? I don't want to deal with this, Nicole. Relax, I'll just tell everyone he threatened to kill you if you squealed. This isn't Juilliard, I can't fake that. Look, she probably won't even call yours anyway, don't freak out over it. Let's hope you're right. I'll take it to court if I have to. Nicole, why was your principal on the phone telling me you may or may not have been sexually assaulted? Oh, that. Uh, it was probably just an April Fool's prank. It's October. No, yeah, I know that. It's actually school pride week where we just do the holidays all fucky. Thursday's Rosh Hashanah. Could I pass for Jewish? What bush are you beating around here? Okay, fine. My photography teacher was getting really touchy-feely with, uh... Touchy-feely where? Where did he touch you? My essential areas. Are you being serious with me? If not, you're in big trouble. Well, in that case, Mom, I wouldn't joke about this. His fingers were like in. 
I believe you, sweetheart. Oh, awesome. You rock, Mom. So what's for dinner? But if this really happened, I'm not very fond of your principal's dismissive tone. I never thought we'd have to do this at a school so nice, but I'm calling a lawyer. No way, you're, you're actually gonna do something about it? Aren't we broke? Oh, I just tell you that so you never ask me to buy you things. This is serious. Wow. I mean, you know good lawyers? I've been married eight times. I'm well connected. Well, good. Let's pin Mr. White in his child molesting ways. How exactly does he even isolate you? There's so many people there as it is. Isolate? I don't get it. Well, he has to get you girls alone somehow to have his way. Oh, yeah. Um, you yeah, know, he just does it right in the middle of class. You're joking. Yeah, just grabbing titties with no shame. He threatens to kill us if we tell anyone. That is unfucking believable I know. There's like 29 of us. So that's a whole lot of killing. You know what? I'm just seeing red right now. I will spare no expense to make sure this pervert's under the jail. So, Nicole, in your own words, what happened at school on the day of the 18th? Yeah, okay, so... I'm just doing my makeup in class, not bothering anyone or anything, and Mr. White had a huge problem with that. I see. Go on. His face was totally calm while he proceeded to flip the whole desk over. And it's an art class, so the table's huge, big enough for four kids. Really now? Yeah, he grabbed me to a standing position, getting right behind and grinded against me. <gasps> in front of all the students, too. Then his hands started massaging my breasts. It was so... Wait, I I'm sorry. One hand on both of them. Yeah. I hope the jury notes these logistical inaccuracies. Well, see, I'm a tiny 17-year-old minor, and his man hands were more than big enough to wrap around half my body. <gasps> Fine, then. Continue. So then he's poking his tongue all over my neck and whispering things I'd rather not repeat. You're under oath now, Nicole. Huh. Well, you asked for it. He called me his voluptuous teen property and said my sexual willingness would pull a fine ransom on the black market. <gasps> all right, all right, enough of this. No, this is hard. Keep going. This is quite the imagination you have. But really, people? Are we going to believe this charade? when the schools show no other evidence of misconduct from its faculty. You have a lot of explaining to do. We'll wait. So, just because no one said anything means it isn't happening? You all have internet and texting now. Surely it would have gotten out. Even if someone did say something, who's better connected? The 16-year-old girl who doesn't hang out at the local sports bar? Or some dipshit with a whistle who knows 12 synonyms for quarterback? And what's the implication here? Men listen to other men? Male teachers, male superintendent, male security guards, male everything. Male everything. However, a female principal? <gasps> when you look like Miss Lynn, you could be governor, let alone principal. Are you telling the jury she's only in that position because of the physical favors she can offer as a woman? No, it's not a woman thing, it's a she's attractive thing. You think ugly bitches get handouts? Could we please show the jury a faculty headshot of Principal Lin? What the fuck does this have to do with anything? You're in the court of law, please act like it. You're beating around the bush. The gym teacher has asked me out like three times since I've been here, and the counselor gives every girl a lecture on normalizing pedophilia. <laughs> Now surely you don't believe this? Oh, let me read the last few texts from Coach Colby then. Hey, sexy, you up? How deep is your throat? I want to murder my wife and shower you in the life insurance payout. Oh. And they still have this guy? Why is he able to be on the payroll? This is brand new evidence. Settle down. Mr. Colby was fired and incarcerated months ago, promptly after a few reports. You just said no one ever reported anything like five minutes ago. Damn it! Oh, Coach just texted me again. Hey, honey, just got out of jail. Good news, they're giving me my job back so we can still hang out. Nicole, you've been my hardest cross-examination yet. Oh, well, you've just been a bitch in general. Go iron your Mickey Mouse tie.
It's been about a year since the trial. We won 500000 in the civil suit, and I immediately dropped out and moved to L.A. Dressing nice and maintaining my new expensive drug habit is cool, but the school's tax dollars paying for it is so hot. I met another Nicole while I was out here. She's kind of famous. I mean, I already explained it, didn't I? You know what I mean. Why isn't the rest of the faculty testifying in your favor? Any further details? Uh, the whole thing was kind of fuzzy. Fuzzy? Or abstract? Fictional? Made up? All right! All right, what? I made it up. The whole thing. <gasps> I knew you'd crack eventually. But how can you blame me? Just trying to put on my makeup, and he belittles me in front of the whole class. You'd want to get even if you were in my position, too. It's hard being me. Can anyone understand that? I understand. This case is over. Needless to say, Mom was pissed. I was like, but I thought we should tell the truth, and she was all, not in court, bitch. So we got buried in legal fees, lost our home, lost everything. Mom found another husband and said I could rot under a bridge for all she cared. I opted for the cardboard box. At least I can decorate it. Lesson learned, though. I learned honesty makes your life way harder than it needs to be. Wait, Mom, don't. Oh, God, did he brainwash you into liking it? Excuse me? Mom, no, just please don't call. It's okay, sweetie. When you're in college, you'll meet plenty of men with just as much money as your photography teacher. No, ew, I made all this shit up, okay? Oh, did you now? Yeah, could you not ground me forever? I know pretending to be raped is taboo, but it was kind of a dry run for when I'm in college. Hmm, I won't ground you at all, actually. Hop in the car, let's go to a tattoo place. Oh my god, Mom, are you serious? You know I've wanted one for so long. Is this like some kind of reward for being honest? Quite the opposite. I had a chat with your friend Jekka's mother at the last parent-teacher conference. And what'd she say? A lot of words, but two in particular really stuck out to me. Disciplinary tattoo. Uh, fill me in on what that is? Sounds familiar. I'm getting Jesus Saves tattooed down your spine. What? Mom, no, this is fucking weird. Everyone at nice beaches will laugh at me, and everyone at shitty beaches will hit on me. So fuck photography. Yeah, pretty much. Mr. White acts like his class is so goddamn important. We can take pictures with a camera phone. Who even needs a camera camera anymore? Exactly. Men who teach electives get so insecure when they realize they can't stop anyone from graduating. Bitch, be happy anyone even took your class. It's an art course anyway, like doing your makeup's a huge step down. What's up, you whores? Wow. Hi, Kyler. You shit-talking Mr. White? Yeah, he probably deserves it. What do you want? All right, damn. Did you guys get an invite to Kelly's pool party? It's October. No, her parents are like really rich. It's glass thin and everything. Yeah, and her pool stuff is sick. They got those four foot long syringe water gun things. What are you, 10? Whatever, just a little fun on the side while picking up bitches. I've been here for a year and never once heard of someone having sex with you. I've been here since third grade and haven't heard it. Nuh-uh. Remember freshman year with Jenny Fillmore? She was unconscious. How do you still brag about that? You're like the reason they have women's college. Okay, old news, whatever. You have invites or not? Yeah, me too. How do you get one? You haven't even been here that long. Because I have a nice face and I'm not fat. Okay, well, can I tag along with you guys? This weekend's going to be so boring if I can't go. I don't want to be responsible for you ruining the party, but I also don't want to be responsible for you crashing it out of roid rage. Nicole's choice. Fine. Nicole, 
I know I called you a whore like two minutes ago, but could you let me go with you just this once? No, fuck off. Fine, be a bitch. See if I care. You're just mad you can't see us in bikinis this weekend. What are you doing? What? Don't get flustered like that. He's a rapist. Sex turns into violence overnight for those types. What, like choking and biting? That and jerking off while thinking about us suddenly turning into Jekka would look so hot with her organs gouged out. How do you know these things? I had a brother. So what are you wearing to Kelly's pool party? Well, summer's over, so no we're selling anything. Hello, girls. Going to a pool party in the fall? Yeah, well, I don't know, maybe. I can't find anything to wear for it. I could help you out with that. You sell bikinis? Of course not. But swing by my office later and we can take some measurements for the Home Ex Sewing Club. We'll make sure it fits flawlessly to your every curve. Gee, thanks. I'll see you there, maybe. Have a good day at school. Did he just say your every curve? Yeah, is he allowed to say that? What are you guys freaking out about? I think the counselor might have made an advance at me. He literally asked you to go to his office, get naked, and be measured. Yawn. What else is new? What? You've gone here longer than me. How did you not notice? To be fair, he's kind of subtle about it. He's what I call a marathon pedophile. Sorry, but what the fuck is a marathon pedophile? He tries to make you question society's hatred of pedophilia before he actually molests you. Then you'll feel bad if you tell on him afterward. So he guilts you so he can make a routine out of it? Exactly. A predator that plays the long game. A marathon pedophile. That's like three levels worse than what I thought he was gonna do. Why do you even want to measure you anyway? For a bikini to wear at Kelly's pool party, he'd have Home Eck make it. Home Eck? What are they gonna make? A fucking felt bathing suit? I didn't say I was gonna do it. But yeah, I'd probably fall apart after a lap in the pool anyway. Excuse me? You planned on swimming at a pool party? What do you do at a pool party? Sit around and look cute. Same. God damn it! Why are they still using combination locks? The school's soft. No one steals shit anyway. You still aren't dressed? Yeah, they need thumbprint scanners or some shit. It's 2008. Isn't it the future by now? You're gonna be late. No shit. Now, how many spins again? Nailed it! What the fuck? How'd you get in here? There's no lock on the doors. Saw it as a great opportunity for an A-plus in street photography. Did your cartoons tell you to do this? Ahem, <clears throat> anime? Why didn't anime tell you to screenshot a cam girl in public or something? Oh, Nicole. If your brain was as big as your ample breasts, then maybe you'd understand. I'm sorry, do you think you're cool right now? You're a freak. Not even the sex fiend counselor wants to fuck you. Your petty insults will make the development of this photograph all the more satisfying. Cam girls are all cheap digital nonsense. I have captured your succulent figure on medium format film. Every little shadow and highlight of your tantalizing midriff captured the way it was meant to be. If you're gonna sexually harass me, could you not talk like a cartoon character while you do it? I do what I want with my words. I'll also do as I please with this photo. No, come on, just throw the film out. I'm afraid I can't do that. Every boy with a crush on you should pay top dollar for these prints. Or maybe I could hang a giant poster of it out front, humiliating you the way you've humiliated me time after time. What? Because I called you a future pedophile in chemistry last year? Kate, sorry. Now throw it out. You won't convince me otherwise. Huh. Wait, was I at the wrong locker? Yeah, they really need a lock on that door. Thanks, hindsight. So what the fuck do I do right now? This is gonna ruin my life. Why can't you tell the principal again? Cause that's fucking embarrassing. Miss Lynn, that mean boy has a picture of my titties halfway out. Yeah, they'll probably find a way to make it your fault anyway. I still can't believe he shot it on medium format film of all things. What kind of pretentious dipshit jerks off to film prints? Her parents in the 70s? Wait, like... Film film? Like it needs to be developed? Yeah, he said he was getting it developed to tomorrow's film club. Break in that bitch. No lab, no developing. If it's some weird format, there won't be another one for miles and miles, right? Destroying the dark room. Would I get expelled for that? If you go in after everybody leaves, no one needs to know. Just wear gloves or something so you don't leave fingerprints. Gloves? If I have any. Will you go with me? No, it's not my ass on film. Come on, I'd help if it was you. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. Okay, I wouldn't, but... God damn it. 
Is it really the end of the world if people see you in your underwear? You look good naked. Yeah, exactly. If I had weird tits and a gut, it'd be classified as an artistic nude. But if you're hot with no clothes on? It's porn. Fine, I'll drive you over there, but I'm not stepping a foot inside that place. Let's go. Wow, I am creative when it comes to destroying things. Are you done yet? Yeah, just about. This should buy me enough time to swipe Jeffrey's camera and ruin the negative. Hey! Do you have permission to be here? Uh, if I said a teacher told me to meet here for a date, would you go after him or just blame me for that too? A date in your pajamas. Did he tell you to destroy thousands in school property too? Look at this place! Come with me! What? It was like this when I... sleepwalked in here. You wear gloves to bed? Well, so much for Jekka's stupid fucking glove idea. To this day, I genuinely believe sleepwalking would have worked if it wasn't for wearing those. Anyway, I got statewide expulsion. Yeah, I didn't know it was a thing either. Mom refused to move again, forced me to get a shitty job, and hits me to relieve her feelings of disappointment. The deep fryer leaving craters on my face is bad, but anyone from school seeing me is a suicidal experience. Wow, the camera really does add 10 pounds. Fuck off. Uh, maybe? But you need a conversation starter if we're gonna justify bringing you. Like what? Do something impressive this week. Like... Like... Like put something funny on YouTube. Yeah, actually, not a bad idea. Then everybody can watch it at the party. A video of what, though? You know where photography is? At magazine studios, duh. No dipshit, the photography classroom? Yeah, what about it? The darkroom has a whole bunch of really delicate and expensive equipment. Make a video of you just destroying that shit. Huh, really? What do you think, Jacka? I think Mr. White's reaction would be funnier than the video itself, so go for it. Fine, you're on. See you there this weekend. <laughs> yeah, making friends. It's amazing how men will do anything just to see us with less clothes on. Yeah, it's like there's laws for it or something. So, I'm fucked. Totally fucked. Whoa, slow down. It's just a picture of you in your underwear? Like, no nipples or anything? Now that you're asking, I'm suddenly worried one might have been halfway out or something. Does areola count as nipple? That's a good question. Either way, I gotta stop this from being developed. This shit always manages to pop back up in the future. What future? You say you're gonna kill yourself every other day. Well, I wanna go out as a troubled teen philosopher, not some slut in over her head. Even in death, you're manipulative. Sorry if I don't want my legacy to be freaks jacking off to pictures of me. I would die for half the self-esteem of a girl who just assumes the whole school would jerk off to her. Do you think I could, like, persuade Jeffrey to just trash the negative? Yeah, if you had cat ears. And a tail. And we're basically a cartoon. Oh, yeah, he's fucked up, I forgot. May as well focus on damage control. It's all you can do. I really hope there's a bomb threat tomorrow. Yeah, my brother was asking this girl out for like three months. Three months? Yeah. Did he ask really slowly? Okay, let's just get through the first day of the rest of my ruined life. Hey, Nicole. Here it comes. Did you see what happened to the photography room? Oh. Wait, what? There's a big crowd up there. It's all in pieces. All these chemicals combined on the floor, too. It's basically mustard gas. There she is! Uh-oh, got a dip. What's going on? Don't play dumb. It's obvious it was you. Jeffrey's given me reason to believe you're the one who destroyed the school photo lab last night. Uh, no. I was at home all night mulling over ways to kill myself. In my office. Now! Just want to make it clear one more time that he has no evidence of me doing this. Well, unfortunately, the breadcrumbs all lead to you. 
trying to stop him from developing his picture of you, albeit unflattering, is not a reason to destroy thousands in school property. Did you completely glaze over the last ten things I said? He took a picture in the girls' locker room! And I assure you, he'll be dealt with soon. But you'll need to learn how to deal with the consequences of revealing attire. Destruction of property is not one of them. I was in the middle of changing? You could have been fully nude. It's still unreasonable. Wait, I didn't break anything. Fuck what I was wearing. Out of the ten students we questioned, no one else had anything close to resembling a motive. We'll go ask ten more. Hey, Miss Lynn, sorry. Just got to school. I'm signing in late again. In the middle of something here. Oh, with the student? Nicole? Hey, I did the video. You better make good with that pool party plus one. What video? Uh, you don't remember? If I posted a viral video, you'd let me go with you? What is this? Get out! No, wait. It's only like a minute. See? Yeah? Yo, what's up? This is Kyler. Let's break this gay-ass photo lab. Oh, my God. Fuck photography! It's for people who like animals! Nicole, leave my office. Kyler, could I have a word with you? Yeah, what's up? You're expelled! Did you see Kyler's video? No, what? What's the deal with it? Here, watch it on my phone. <laughs> Crazy, right? Right, Nicole? Huh? Yeah. He did it. He really did it. The music of our year was pretty special when you think about it. Yeah, Soldier Boy wasn't a one-hit wonder. Who knew? I wonder which of them is going to die first after high school. Hey, Nicole. I know we had our differences here and there, but... Sign my yearbook? No. What? No. And once again, I can't even begin to describe how proud I am of each and every one of you. Representing your class with a speech, your valedictorian. <clears throat> Thank you, Principal Lin and the rest of the faculty, declaring me the valedictorian for class of 09. Schoolwork was always important to me during my tenure here. Shut the fuck up! Anyway, perhaps another among us could put it better. Nicole? That's okay. Nicole, say a few words. First, I'd like to thank our female authority figure, Miss Lynn, along with her cleavage for symbolizing how the men at this school have treated me here. Like a sex object. <gasps> what are you doing? In my two years here, a good 20% of the staff has either asked me on a date or made some other form of sexual advance. I told their supervisors, and they told me to get my grades up. <gasps> are you out of your fucking mind? I sent my daughter here! What kind of school is this? I'm calling the news! Oh, oops. I was just dropping off my lost textbook check. Awkward. I was on my way out. Just packing. They make you clear the whole room at the end of every year? Uh, no. They make you clear the whole room out after you're fired. Whoops. Your apathy won't work on me, Nicole. You're not mad? No, actually. It's been a long time coming. Surprised it didn't happen sooner, to be honest. So you knew ignoring it would come back to bite you? When you fooled around with half your staff, they don't take you very seriously. I know I might seem old to you, but we're actually not too different. Using our looks to fuck around with people? That's right. Been doing it since I was your age. Though you really one-upped me. Never letting your emotions trick you into thinking you owed them anything. Rare for a girl your age. How long for you to figure that out? I still haven't. In 39 years. 39 years old and I didn't report teachers for asking students out because I didn't want to look stuck up. Sometimes all it takes is one night with someone to feel the need to be loyal. Ew, you fuck the counselor? <sighs> Among others. Well, 
I guess it only makes sense that men impulsive enough to fuck their boss would also try to fuck kids. I thought you hosted the feminism club. Politics are fashion. We pick it for a sense of belonging, not change. Most of us, anyway. Maybe one day, you'll start your own movement. I already have. I thought about what Miss Lynn said for months into my first fully legal summer. The manipulation was still fun. What got harder was the escape plan. Now that I was 18, I couldn't just resort to calling older men pedophiles for dating me. I slowed down a bit. Maybe I should start a movement that makes my attitude more common. But it'd be a ton of work to promote. And that's when I learned the grand irony of being pretty. It destroys your dopamine levels. You don't want to do shit. Dudes just buy me drinks, give me things, everything. What incentive do I have to try? Is this why women make less? We don't feel like trying? Actually, I want a stat on the women who quit their small businesses. What percent of them are hot? Or what if their business does really well because they're hot? I guess my point is, if our culture is ran by looks, the stats should take looks into consideration. I promise I'll have a political takeaway from my high school years. I just need the numbers. Watching your dad kill himself really fucks you up. School tour. Um, that sounds nicely mediocre, but I'm just gonna go to class. See ya. Oh, well, yeah. I, I'm Crispin, by the way. Yeah, we should hang out sometime. Yeah, okay. All right, bye. Yeah. Oh, you must be new. Yes, please take a seat next to Jeffrey. Hey. Hey, so, uh, I guess. I guess we're lab partners, huh? I guess. Not a big talker, are you? I don't know you. Are you just chummy with everyone you meet? Not everyone. But if they look the type to like anime, they may as well, right? I'm sorry, I look like I like anime? How do I fix that? No, no, that's a good thing. It means you're cool and different. And 300 pounds. What was that? Oh, nothing. It was just converting British currency in my head. Cool, see? Um, well, the teacher said I'm Jeffrey. What's your name? What, so you can look me up on MySpace or something? No thanks. Well, we're gonna get to know each other anyway, right? Probably not. Probably after this week, we won't even talk anymore. I've moved to a lot of different schools, so I'm fully aware you're using the New Kid Grace period. What's New Kid Grace period? Ugh, it's where the outcasts squeeze all the interaction they can out of New Kids way above their social status. So when the New Kids get here, it's awkward. They don't know who's who. They'll humor any conversation or friendship until they find the people on their social level. How do you know I'm not on your social level? Fucking look at you. Listen to how you talk. How do you know I'm not? Shut the fuck up. Hey, I didn't do anything. I know. It's what you will do. I've had my ear talked off about comics, laser swords, lowering the age of consent, ninja hand signs, just all that weird shit. You know, the other pretty girls here are a lot nicer than you are. They talk to you because it's funny. Get a clue. Yeah, a lot of people say I'm funny. Oh, you're funny? Tell me a joke. Oh. Well, it's more like in the moment you had to be there kind of funny. Okay, Jeffrey, you want me to save you years of guessing? Yeah, sure. How? They're not laughing with you. They're laughing at you because they'll never have sex with you. Ah, I got you there. A lot of the girls here said they're saving themselves for me. Christ, they make it that obvious here? Yeah, they're kind of easy if you ask me. No, it... Uh, believe what you want. I'm going to lunch. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm funny. I know I am. God, the food here is tragic. Even the air has preservatives. Fucking tell me about it. That's why I pack. Oh, sorry. Didn't see you. Nah, it's okay. You can sit here. I'm Jekka. Where are you in from? Uh, chemistry? I think. I don't know. I didn't really do anything. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, you have to, like, wash acid off you before you can touch your food. I'm not eating anyway. The guy I had to sit next to scared my appetite away. Pretty much just me away in general. Who was it? Do you know? Um, Jeffrey? Oh, yep. He's a fun one. But he's so, like, overly chummy. That's fun to you? No, like, fun to fuck with him, duh. Freshman year, every girl put love notes in his locker, right? So he went up to some of the girls' boyfriends like, Ah, she's in love with me now. Oh my god, that's funny. Because they were all, like, 14, three guys just beat the shit out of him for it. Now we have all these stupid anti-bullying rules. I never got how they could, like, enforce that. It's baby simple. If you don't want to get bullied, just be hot and sociable. Fucking accurate. I'm Nicole, by the way. Well, I'll see you around, Nicole. I'm Nicole, hi. Huh, that's a nice name. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> so what animes do you like? Um, can't say I know too many animes, but I'd like to learn. Which ones do you like? <sighs> well, I don't really like some of the ones other guys like. Oh, so you're like really into it. Really hip, you don't like the popular stuff? Mmm, some are popular, but it's more the genre. A lot of anime is kung fu, laser beam action. I like the animes with the girls. Mm-hmm, so what do you like about them? I don't know, they're just really cute. I get crushes on them. Oh, you get crushes on cartoons? That's pretty cool. Thanks, yeah. And something else, but I should probably keep it a secret. Hey, hey, no, come on, tell me. I don't know, I just met you. Here, let's make a deal. You carry the load on this science lab today, and I'll keep your secret safe forever. I swear. Hmm. Okay. That sounds like a fair deal to me. I'll tell you at lunch. Cool. I can't wait. Now you just sit back. I'll get us an A for sure. You did such a good job. I'm almost jealous, actually. Oh, uh, there's nothing to it. I could tutor you after school or something. Mmm, we'll worry about that later. So what were you going to tell me in class? Oh, about how nail polish remover can melt styrofoam. No, before that. The girls in your favorite animes? Oh, yeah. Um, well, I think they're really, really cute. But sometimes more than cute. Like, like all the way? Um, well, a promise is a promise. I think some of them are very sexy. Oh, you like them that way, huh? Yeah, because their bodies are just so perfect. Uh-huh, totally. They are drawn so perfect. You, you don't think that's weird, right? No, it's perfectly normal. I think. Can't really check right now. Thanks. And sometimes when I'm pent up, I pause the anime at certain frames and I, you know. No, I don't know. Tell me. I kind of, like, you know, use my hand. Oh, like, to completion? Yeah. I think that's awesome. It's so great that you do that. Oh, thanks. You're the first girl I ever told that to. I like you, Nicole. Can we talk tomorrow? Yeah, fuck it. Hey, tonight, tell those girls I said hi. Uh, okay. Anything for you, Nicole. Hey, sorry, but do we have to go to a homeroom first? Or do we just go straight to first period? No, it's okay. Yeah, first period. There's no homeroom here. You're new? Yeah, it's my second day. I wish all schools were just built the same so it wouldn't be a learning curve every time I moved. Oh, are you a military kid? If hoeing's a battlefield, then yes. My mom divorces and moves a lot. Well, how do you think all schools should be built? Geometrically all the same, with universal room numbering. Oh, and make them all just one floor. Two flights is confusing. But then how are we going to push fat kids down the stairs? Fuck, you're right. What's your name? Jekka. What's yours? Nicole. Why'd your parents name you Jekka? Well, no, they called me Jessica, but I started doing Jekka for short. 
Also, Jessica's a name that just screams married at 20. Oh yeah, marriage sucks. Never doing it. Totally. Whenever I play fuck, marry, kill, I answer fuck marriage and kill myself. Hey, Nicole, how you doing? Oh fuck, I forgot. Do you know each other? No, not really. Of course we do. I met Nicole yesterday in science class. Then we had lunch together and talked about anime. Wow, Nicole, you're kind of less cool now. What? No, he's just making shit up. Anyway, I gotta get to class now. I'll leave you two to your anime talk. Thanks, yeah, we go pretty deep with it. How did fucking with you backfire that hard? What do you mean? Oh, nothing, sorry. That was a delayed response to an ex. The PTSD just brought it out of me. Cool. So where are you headed for class, Nicole? So to not make the intro to beginner's photography too long, I'll simplify it by saying I'll have your shots looking superior by the end of this year. Dude, why did I pick an art class? All these kids are annoyingly quirky. So nice of you to join us, young lady. You sound way too happy to be actually happy. Quite observant. To make up for your tardiness, perhaps you could help me out in the dark room. I need the chemicals cleansed for tomorrow's class. Oh, hey, I know you. What's up? This is the girls' bathroom? Really? Nah, no way. So what brings you here? Hmm, what would bring a girl to the girls' bathroom? Skipping? Duh. Now get out! Oh, come on, wait. What class are you cutting? Photography. The teacher tried making me do shit for free, and I am not about that. Photography? Oh, me too. Crazy. So even if I don't skip, I can't avoid you. Great. You're a cool girl, you know that? What? I just like you, you know? Dude, get in line. Nobody knows how to leave me the fuck alone here. So honest. Like, I feel like I could really open up to you. You have a lot of emotional conversations. I listen to a lot of deep bands, so I can never find a girl that can keep up with me in that department. Did... You just threw that deep bands thing in there with no context. Come on. Can I at least know your name? Nicole. Oh, hi, Nicole. You wanna have a sit down with me? You know, talk it up? Hey stranger. Hi, yeah. You seem drained, what's going on? I just came here from skipping photography. And it didn't go well because... Some fucking psycho was waiting for me in the girl's bathroom. I thought they fired that mailman. Uh, evidently a different psycho. He was eager to tell me about his taste in music. Oh, sounds like Crispin, or any of the other Guitar One students. Yeah, I think his name was that. Wasn't really paying attention between the awkward icebreakers and 30 minutes of crying. Why was he crying? He wanted to open up to me in a public restroom for, like, no reason. He doesn't know me. I told him no, and he just wouldn't stop crying about how he loves me and no one understands him, whatever. God, being a girl, it's a gift and a curse. It's like I was socially trapped. Hopefully one no keeps him at bay. With those types, it never does. If they know how to reach you, it kind of just doesn't stop. You know from experience? Yeah, not him specifically, but just guys acting all vulnerable so I pay attention to them? Sick of it, but what can you do? Commit egregious acts of disrespect. Is that what you did? Uh, now that I think about it, I was way too nice in that whole exchange. How nice? Did you apologize at any point? Did you say sorry? I was... Pretty cold and detached, I thought. Did. You. Say. Sorry. Fuck, I did. You dumb slut! I didn't even do anything to him, why the fuck would I apologize? It's those girl hormones, we're genetically programmed to put up with bullshit. How much longer until graduation? Twenty months. Can you last? What choice do I have? Yes, Guidance Counselor, let's talk it up. Hey, come on. No need for the jokes. I can tell you're fragile inside. Me too, actually. Oh yeah? How can you tell? You know, like... Y your face and stuff. Just how you are. You've known me for literally two days. All I need is two minutes. <laughs> you want to get to the emotional part? Huffing developer is a lot more exciting than this. Look, it's just... I don't know. People don't understand me. Like, this girl saw I was listening to pop punk, and was like, I thought punk was anti-pop. Like, she didn't understand. 
I would have told you the same thing. Pop punk's for boring suburban kids who want to live in LA. But it's deeper than that? Like, I feel like no one at this school gets me. Just curious, were you saying that before using the internet? Man, like, I don't know. There's gotta be more out there. You haven't actually replied to a single thing I've said. How is this a conversation? I guess it's not, huh? Not so much a conversation, more like a vet sesh. Well, anyway... Oh, yeah, 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 I'll let you go now. But, oh, Nicole? Thanks for listening. You're a good friend and stuff. Gee, thanks. You're a good person I was forced to talk to. How is it two ninety nine dollars for a drop it like it's hot ringtone? It's bleeps and bloops. Fuck out of here. Who is this? Wait. Hey, thanks for listening in the women's restroom. Oh, it's that weirdo. How do you get my number? Whatever, let's see. I love seeing you and hearing your voice. Your attitude just works for me, IDK. Yeah, IDK's real romantic. I wanted to show you what you do to me. Show me what? I don't see... Oh my god, all three inches of it? What the fuck? Why? I'm just gonna erase this. Ugh. I was literally raped through a phone just now. School was bad before, but now I gotta deal with seeing him there. Then again, he kinda just put himself out there like that. Send it to her, send it to her, send it to him. Barely know him, but let's give it to him too. Send it to her. Hey guys, what's going on here? We having fun? You hear the new drops at the CD shops? <laughs> oh, hey, Crispin. Yeah, I would have, but my after school time was cut kind of short. Yeah, it wasn't long at all, right? Oh, sucks to hear, bro. What happened? Literally everyone at school seen your micro penis. <laughs> what? No way. How? Because you took a picture of it, you fucking idiot. <laughs> Settle down, everyone. Every week you kids get worked up over some tiny thing. Oh, you saw it too? <laughs> what is so funny? Crispin's been sending out pictures of his junk to every girl in school. That's not how I heard it. I thought it was just one girl. And then she sent it to everyone. <laughs> Who was it then? Tell me, Crispin. The... the new girl, Nicole. Sexually harassing our new students? You're in big trouble, mister. Nicole, there's something we need to talk about. Oh god, not you too. Your principal called and told me there was a problem at school. A boy sent you some unsolicited pictures? Mom, this is gross. I'm not talking about it with you. You were forced to look at sexual imagery, Nicole. The child psychologists say that can really stunt development. Well, every day I'm forced to look at the principal's fat titties just hanging out all over the goddamn place. This isn't about her- <sighs> Look, I just need to know if you're okay. This was very serious. Mom, I've honestly never felt better in my life. Uh, how? Do you see the power I have here? Any guy who annoys the shit out of me, I can just socially ruin. My point is, it should have never gotten to that point. I'll go die your roots, Mom. Hey, uh, that was totally uncalled for. Like, I finally score a point for women and you have to have a problem with it. Other girls were talking to me like, I'd never do that, you're brave. I'm a trendsetter, Mom. Ugh, just make sure you don't provoke them too hard. Boys can be vicious, sweetie. Yeah? They haven't met me. Mom, I really don't know. I don't think so. Oh, sweetie, what happened? It's okay, you can tell me. You won't be mad? No, you didn't do anything wrong. Well, I don't know. He sent me the picture and just wouldn't stop texting me. And you got the limited phone plan, so I couldn't block his number. It just wouldn't stop. Oh, I'm sorry. We'll take care of that tomorrow. Now, what else? Well, the next day at school, he was way too confident with me. Just pinning me against the locker and licking my earlobes. That's what they fetishize now? Just sick. I know. He told me I was his property, and I just started crying. I don't know what to do. There, there. It's all right. Oh, this is the hardest part of being a mom, I swear. I'm sorry I'm a disappointment, Mom. I'd want a daughter who gets A's on math tests instead of D's to the face. Stop it. I love you, okay? Is there any way I can make this better? A anything at all? Well, maybe some new, less revealing outfits? So boys stop hitting on me? What? 
How many? A whole wardrobe. Just to get me through to graduation. No, sweetie, you can't shift your whole life around over one abuser. I'm calling the school to get him expelled. Oh, all right. I guess that's fine, too. And if they don't, I'm filing a lawsuit. We'll even move if we have to. What? Again? But I just... Shh. It's okay. You didn't do anything wrong. Now, where's that office number? Well, guess who didn't get expelled? Mom called again and threatened with a lawsuit. She forgot one crucial detail, though. I'm on the assisted income lunch plan, so they knew she couldn't afford a lawyer. Like six different alimony checks, and they're all going to hair bleaching. So we're moving. Again. I swear to God, I can never be satisfied. Not until it's too late. Sorry, I didn't even catch your name. It's Nicole. What's yours? You can call me Mr. White, but my friends call me Mr. Shooter. Okay, Mr. White. So what's first? Well, you see, Nicole, I didn't actually call you in for chemical cleaning. Needed you alone to ask something else. Here it comes. No, no, no. Mind out of the gutter, please. It's just you had a very striking look. Positively pure. I do a lot of freelance photography work outside of my teaching job here. How would you like to model for some community service hours? No way I'm getting naked on camera for the community. At least $500. Naked? No, absolutely not. You're a minor after all. Oh, so just wearing lingerie and baby oil gotcha. When is it? No, not that either. The shoot is this weekend at White Wheat Farms. Should be a nice, wholesome, sunny September day. Okay, but the payment situation is... You'll get a free meal of your choice. See, I feel really bad about this, but sorry I can't. Your pitch was so good, too. Oh, well, no hard feelings, Nicole. I'd love to make it up to you and do some cleaning in here anyway. Oh, thanks. I need to get back to my class introduction. While I'm out there, maybe you could reorganize the developers. No problem. Thanks. No, thank you. Okay, huffing at least one of these should get me fucked up, right? You know what? Sure. Oh, splendid. A nice, pure outing. Just me and my new, beautiful student, Nicole. I trust you'll brush up on your posing this week. Well, I bend over to pick up the paper, so it shouldn't be too hard. Then it's settled. This weekend, a nice, bright shoot should really cleanse our minds of the muddied culture surrounding us, don't you think? Whatever you say, dude. I'll be at home googling expensive restaurants. And a clever girl at that. A bright mind to match your bright complexion. Okay, bye. That's it. Wonderful. Your pure skin just wonderfully fades out into the highlights of the wheat behind you. Yeah, thanks. Could you talk about something other than skin? It's like a dermatology fever dream. Sorry, Nicole. When something catches my eye, I just can't let it go. The curse of being a photographer. Okay. So, what's this thing on my shirt again? The Celtics logo or something? No, no. The Celtic Cross. Just a graphic rich with heritage that complements the nice, wholesome imagery behind you. Whatever you say. So, are we done yet? And... yes, we are. It was a pleasure, Nicole. The pleasure was all yours. So there's a steakhouse on the other side of town and... Yes, yes, I'll hold up my end of the deal, don't worry. But before we leave, I just wanted to ask you... Do you enjoy being... white? I mean, not sure how white I'll be after standing in the sun all day. No, sorry. Allow me to rephrase the question. Do you love the white American culture? Are you a proud white woman? Like, no, yes, who cares? Why are you so into whiteness? Sorry, I guess the questions have been a tad much. 
There's just something about the color white. And it's not just my last name. White's a pretty boring color, to be honest. I wouldn't call it boring, just pure. You're a photography student. Think of it like a camera. When you take the lens off and snap a picture, the image is just white. Then you put it back on and focus. The shapes seen are merely obstructions, sullying the whiteness. What the fuck does this have to do with anything? It's just a metaphor for a larger problem in this country. We focus on other cultural obstructions so much that we've allowed them to mix with and tarnish the initial whiteness that started it all. Huh. Yeah, I think I might get it, but could you give me an example of a cultural obstruction? Rap music. Huh. Yeah, totally love it. A lot, actually. Can we go now? Oh, that's wonderful to hear. I trust your heritage is important to you as well. If I knew what it was, then absolutely. So great to find a like-minded student in my class. I love our race, and I'm proud of it. This is the first shoot of many, Nicole. Cool. Will I get paid next time? How would you like $50 a shoot? It adds up. Sweet, yeah. Anytime, any place. Now that I know you're on board for the racial purification of this country, you deserve it. Oh. So, I'm pretty sure the photography teacher is a white nationalist. I said the tuna's good today, and you just replied with that. Remember how I told you I did that photo shoot with him? Yes, please, brag again. No, it's not that. Just the whole time he was saying this weird shit about whiteness and being white. I guess it fits. Mr. White's a white supremacist. White nationalist. Isn't it the same thing? White supremacists assume white culture is the correct culture. White nationalists politicize that. So... he's... Mr. White is a white nationalist. Pretty much everyone who goes here is a white supremacist. Oh. That makes sense. Does it? Am I racist if I say no? Honestly, I don't give a shit. That's just what Google told me last night. Well, if we have some KKK guy at our school, shouldn't we do something? Like what? Even if we told someone, they won't do anything. If being racist got you fired, like, no one would have a job. Well, I'm kind of curious now. I think I'll go up and see what he's all about. Maybe catch him on something else. You coming with me? He knows you, right? What a lovely surprise, girls. Now, Nicole, you wouldn't happen to be recruiting another loyal white to our cause. Oh my god, it is true. We didn't even work it out of him or anything. Really puts the proud in white pride. Judging by your tones, I'm starting to think neither of you are down for the purification of this nation. No shit. Is that why you're teaching here? To convert quirky art girls into clan members? Well, when you put it that way, it sounds too easy. The art school girls are absolutely terrified of black people. Not that there's anything wrong with that. You really think I'm a quirky art girl? No, it's just a broad example. Please just try to see this my way. The white pride parties understood the error of their ways in the 20th century. Since then it's evolved from arson and lynchings. We simply wish to promote pride in our own heritage, just like the colored communities do. Colored communities? Oh, I'm sorry. People of color. How is that better? So there's black pride, that's fine. How is white pride any different? Proud about what? You already own everything. It's just a victory lap. If you don't cut this shit out, we're gonna stop it. You're two little teenage girls. You have no power over me or my people. Maybe not, but the principal does. Let's go. Ugh, did not want to get this involved. <laughs> go ahead and try. If you looked like me, you'd cheat on your husband, too. Miss Lynn, sorry, but this is kind of important. Hey, yeah, I'll call you back. You'll get the number for lip injections after. Okay, bye. You do illegal plastic surgery out of your basement or something? No, my friend does. How can I help you girls? It's about Mr. White and photography. He's kind of- Stop! Stop! I get this conversation once a year. You've known about this? Unfortunately. 
And you're just okay with it? Absolutely not, but his defenses have my hands tied, I'm afraid. It's sick. I'd be inclined to agree. Another level of twisted, but he's made very strong cases for covering himself in peanut butter to pose for the students, so I'd rather not push the issue further. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, this isn't about that? We're here to report he's trying to recruit his students for white nationalism rallies? Okay, this I didn't know about. Yeah, he asked me to pose for a weekend shoot and kept going on about how racially pure my skin was. You had your clothes on, right? Why wouldn't I? No reason, go ahead. So we talked to him in the darkroom and he's just outwardly trying to sell us on a white pride. Oh man, uh, well, that is cause for concern. Were any racial slurs used? Not really, but it's more like the overall content. I'm afraid I can't help you then. What? For a claim like that, you'd need pretty hard evidence to get him removed from the faculty entirely. Also, he may or may not have rather compromising photographs of me, so I'd rather not get involved. He may or may not have pictures of you in neo-Nazi shirts? Cause I may or may not have been there. Actually, I may or may not have been covered in baby oil. <sighs> Well, I guess racism wins. Can we see the pictures? Get out of my office. Dude, I really don't want to get involved. You're smart enough, you can handle it. Are you saying that because you really mean it, or just because you don't want to go? Can it be both? You're such a bitch. How? Because I don't want to see a white nationalist more than I already have to? You got me all worked up over this and you won't even dig into it with me. What kind of friend are you? I've known you for like a week. We're the only two pretty girls in this lunch block. We're gonna end up best friends anyway. And that right there is why your loyalty check isn't working. Whatever, fine. I'll see you after school? Yeah, may as well. I actually have some counselor meeting for new student integration. Oh, good luck with that. Why are you saying it like that? The counselor is... well, you'll see. See, Nicole, doesn't it just feel great to openly talk about sex in a safe environment? No, actually, not at all. Aren't you supposed to be asking me if I'm making friends or something? Eh, same old, same old. I prefer a different approach, really getting into the dramatic psyche of our students. At your age, it's the number one thing on your mind. Talking about sex with a man 20 years older than me is the first thing on my mind? Merely a societal taboo. A social construct, if anything. Huh? Take homophobia, for example. That brand of hatred was brought on by other people. Nothing intrinsically wrong with homosexuality. But then what's the next taboo to be lifted? Let's say if you and me dated outside of school. Here we go. Perhaps in our lifetime, a relationship with someone of my age and someone of yours wouldn't be so frowned upon. At the end of the day... Love has no boundaries. Does that make sense? Are you dialed in here? I'm about to dial 911. Nonsense. What's wrong? You work at a school and you're giving me the age is just a number speech. Shouldn't you do that on your court date? Sorry, I don't play tennis. Hilarious. Perhaps you're just not ready for an adult conversation. You're still growing, after all. Blooming as a young woman. Yeah, so I'm off limits. Are we done here? Well, one last food for thought. Your driver's license may say you're still a girl, but your body knows you're a woman right now. Prime for reproduction. What, because I have a period? Not to get graphic, but yes. Nothing wrong with that. It's natural. So I should have had a baby at 13 then? No, just intercourse at 13. The baby coming by the time you're 14. I'm leaving. Theoretically, of course. Hmm. If she tells her parents, I'll just say she was acting out. Oh, hey. Was wondering where you were. Yeah, the counselor had me held up in there for a while. He didn't... Uh... Defend pedophilia? He absolutely did. Yeah, he does that. Someone should say something, right? I would, but then I have to fill out paperwork, and honestly, they have me write enough in this place as it is. I know, yeah. So, how'd things go with Mr. White? Uh, okay, yeah, about that. So, I was talking to him, kinda confronting him, and his arguments weren't that out there. 
I don't get it. He's a political extremist. How is he not out there? See, we said that, but like, he asked me why it's okay to do black pride and Mexican pride, but not white pride, and I really didn't have an answer for him. So you just kind of backed off then? Well, not exactly. I kept asking more and more about it, and we actually agreed on a lot. He wants me to do a shoot with him this weekend for the White Pride Party's blog. And what'd you tell him? I said absolutely. Nothing wrong with being proud of your heritage. Why not? Plus 50 bucks for the day. Did he mention an ethnostate for white people? He might have briefly gone into it. Mr. White kept telling me how pretty my skin was. I wasn't paying attention. What's an ethnostate anyway? A country where all the non-white races are kinda exterminated. Oh, it's probably not even that serious. All I know is I'm proud to be white. I mean, I guess when you think about it, it is kinda silly to tell just one group they can't be proud. Exactly, like isn't that racism in itself? I get where you're coming from. See, he's not so bad. Hey, you should come to the shoot with me. We can make it a social thing for a good cause, you know? This weekend? Yeah, I guess I could do another shoot. Awesome, yeah, it'll be fun. He'll fill us in on his whole solution for race relations and everything. His ethnostate solution? Maybe, but who cares? If black people get February, we could at least get California. You think all the white people would fit there? If not, then Washington and Oregon too. Minorities still have another 47 states to pick from anyway. That's a good point. See you this weekend. White power! Well, long story short, I went to the shoot and Mr. White got the bright idea of having us build a chlorine bomb that could level a food court. We didn't really know what we were doing while giving him a hand with the supplies. We just thought he had a really big pool. He detonated it at a Puerto Rican rights bingo night, killing himself in the process, leaving us as the only living traces of DNA found at the scene. It's ironic, because, like, I wasn't racist in the first place. Then I dabbled in racism just to be friendly. Then I tried really hard to convince the jury I still wasn't racist, and now I need to be racist and join some Aryan sisterhood for prison protection. Is it like this for every model? You know what? Forget it. Just do what you want. I'd rather have a white nationalist lunch friend than no friend at all. Nicole, you rock. You can't let some silly politics get in the way of us, right? Yeah, sure. It's not worth getting worked up over. Cool. I'll see you at lunch tomorrow. Bye! Who can tell me who our third president was? Show of hands. Yes? Thomas Jefferson? Very good. One of the more interesting presidents of the 19th century, for a variety of reasons. Yeah, he had sex with slaves. Gross. Quiet down. <laughs> now, who can tell me Jefferson's biggest achievement? No hands? Okay, Nicole. Huh? No, I'm sorry. Huh was not one of his achievements. You were close, though. You hear how no one's laughing? Just answer the question. At least try. What was it again? Thomas Jefferson's biggest achievement. What was it? Who gives a shit? Uh, what? <laughs> Is that the first time you ever heard that? You can't force me to care about any of this. You'll care when your SAT scores come back. I'm not taking the SATs. You only need that if you're going to a four-year college. Oh, so you're not going to college then. Think you have it all figured out. Why would a girl pay 40000 a year to get raped by a frat boy? <laughs> ha ha. Very funny. Uh, yeah, I'm hilarious. Get more laughs than you.
Sorry, couldn't tell you. Come on, you didn't even try. Did it have something to do with the slave sex thing he said? No, please stay on subject. Because when you think about it, he's the first president to have an interracial relationship. That might make him the least racist president of all time until Obama gets elected. He literally owns slaves. Obama owns slaves? I guess we'll never have a non-racist president. Uh, no, Thomas Jefferson. Uh, yeah, I was joking. Thank you for derailing yet another class, Nicole. Tell that to the cross kid. He said the slave shit first. Nicole, get it together! The government forces me to be here, and you expect me to try at volleyball? God damn it, our team keeps fucking losing! So fucking gay! What's your problem? You fucking whore! Shut up! Hey, coach, are we just. Okay, no discipline for that one, gone. I did get into lacrosse camp! Such bullshit! Well, maybe just get better at it? No, you don't understand. Like, there's all these dumbass, underprivileged student passes. They're doing so many that, like, 20% of the sports are automatically filled. All these Mexican kids act like America's so racist when they got the fucking red carpet rolled out for everything. You mean, like, affirmative action? I think that's what they call it. I call it fucking gay! Who's with me? Hey, you wanna calm down and just listen to rap music or something? Everyone in their fucking rap music now? Whatever happened to classic rock? Or, or country? You know, like real music? Classic rock's classic for a reason. It sucks now. Oh yeah, you probably don't even know where to find it. Where do you find it? Off graphic tees at failing anchor stores? No. Yes, fuck you. I want rap music off the radio so wigger kids like you could suffer. How am I a wigger? Just like, liking black people or something? Whatever. Just shut up and pass the ball. I gotta serve. What? How could you side with that? No one gives a shit but you and men who smoke at chain restaurant bars. Oh yeah, nothing matters unless you care. I see how it is. Can you just assume you won the argument so I can stop hearing this? Fucking women gotta go too, dude. I wanna move to the Middle East, a country that stones loud women to death. Sorry, what country is that? I just said, the Middle East? For such a smartass, you don't know books too good. But that's beside the point. Just get your grades up, Nicole. Uh-huh. And also, if you could stop writing death to pedophiles on all the whiteboards, that would be great. Promoting violence is so vulgar. But don't pedophiles deserve to die? Nicole, no one deserves to die. Wow, that's really peaceful of you. I used to be as brash as you at a young age, but then I found a release so satisfying it drained every drop of anger I had. Was it pedophilia? Oh, h how dare you! You didn't say no. That, that's enough for today. Kindly leave. Finally, goddamn. She almost got me that time. Oh, cool, you joined too? Yeah, it's my heritage. I have to support it. But do you think the cross is kind of stretched out on my shirt? No, it looks fine. I don't know. I'll probably see Mr. White to trade it in for a swastika shirt. I could have sworn there were less of you last week. Hey, Nicole! Where's your heritage shirt? My what? You know, to support this grand cause. Grand cause? No, Jeffrey, you're making it sound weird. What we mean is, like, we're just fucking down for our heritage, you know? Why would I care about that? When you think about it, everyone's kind of against us as white people, you know? There's nothing more punk rock than being white. The only people in punk rock are white. Yeah, so come on, Nicole. You gonna join or what? You're the last girl who hasn't signed up for the white pride party. We'd love a pretty girl like you to become one of us. Sorry, um, what are the benefits? Benefits of what exactly? White nationalism? Like, what's in it for me? Well, you get these kick-ass shirts for one. I know what's in it for me. Before everyone just avoided me. Like I was a freak or something. But then Jekka saw me crying in the hall alone and invited me to the white pride party. Now I really belong somewhere. And you can belong too! So for you, it's a club for easy social acceptance? Well, kinda. But everybody already hits on me. I'm not desperate for social acceptance. I guess there's that. So, let me ask this. Now that you're in this club, do girls talk to you now? Not really. But the guys, they always talk to me now. Like for fun? To socialize? Or to give you pride party orders? 
Uh, well, the orders are fun, so kind of both. You know, Jeffrey, this might be sudden, but, like, you want to take me out later? Kill you? I couldn't do that, Nicole. Unless, of course, Mr. White told me to. No, I mean, like, take me out on a date? D date You mean, like, dinner and hugging and kissing? Yeah, all of it. But you're pretty busy with all this white pride stuff, huh? Uh, well, not that busy. I gotta egg a synagogue this Friday, but I could make time. Aw, uh, you know, this Friday's like my only free day for the next, like, forever, so damn, too bad. W what? Oh, well, maybe I don't have to. Hey, guys. Oh, hey, what's up? Long time no see. Jeffrey, I just wanted to remind you that you need to bring the extra large eggs this Friday. We need a big splat. Of course. Yeah. About that? Oh my god, I don't want to hear it. I'm so busy as it is. Seriously, if you fuck this up, you're out. Jeffrey, what about our date this Friday? What the fuck is this? I thought you'd die for this cause. Sorry, Jekka, but I kind of just did this because no one else would talk to me. But now that Nicole's asking me out, well, having a girlfriend's way more important than the final solution. Dude, what? You little fucking race traitor. Mr. White trained me for this moment. Aryan students! Imperial Scribe Jekka! How may we serve you? Jeffrey here is no longer our brother, and he must be eliminated. Take care of him. Finally, I thought you'd never ask. Yeah, I hated being seen with him on rallies. Uh, uh, oh, Nicole, we just gotta take care of a little business here, but you wanna hang out after school? Are you actually just gonna have him killed right here? Well, duh, but it's just politics, you know. Help me! So, how's Mr. White doing? Well, he gave medals to everyone who killed Jeffrey, so I take it he's pretty happy. But can I vent? Like, they're not even medals, just little shirt pins. Yeah, fatal excommunications, definitely one of the less gratifying felonies. At least when you rob a bank, you get money. Speaking of Mr. White, he's like obsessed with you. Still? Always asks about you, always talks about you. What was the last thing he asked? He asked if Montana sounded like a good name for a death camp. No, about me. Always about you, okay. Well, he wasn't really asking, just wondering aloud if your hair was too dark for you to bear racially pure children. What the fuck? I know. It's so obvious you dye it, right? Right? It's been about three weeks now since I've gone to school. Once the news hit they killed Jeffrey, the literal FBI stepped in and expelled all the white nationalists. The end, right? Well, see, like, 95% of the school were in the white pride party, including the teachers. No teachers, no students, no school. Jekka sent me a Polaroid of herself in prison, and she's already covered in the Aryan tattoos. So it really makes you think. Makes you think about how indifference leads to a whole bunch of stupid shit. So, what are the orders? Do you guys do a bunch of chants or something? For sure, dude. Yeah, we could show you some if you like. Well, I was wondering if I could maybe take a video of it? Just so I could review at home and practice? Oh, so you're joining? I didn't say that, but maybe this could convince me. Alright, you better start rolling. Aryan Brothers, assemble! Yo, we doing the chant? Hell yeah, we're doing the chant. White Pride Worldwide! White Pride yeah, Worldwide! Yeah, awesome! White You're doing Pride great, Worldwide. guys! So how about it, Nicole? You gonna join? I don't know. You really made a convincing argument with this. Can I take this video home and watch it a few times? Sure. I can come over and do more chants, too, if you'd like. Uh, no, nah, that's okay.
Okay, let's see what the Nation of Islam forums have to say about this. Upload. So, right after I uploaded that video to the NOI forums, it was immediately shared everywhere. Shared to the point of Minister Farrakhan seeing it and ordering a full-scale arson assault on the entire school. He kind of just posted that, and I'm not even sure if it was the real Farrakhan, you know, but I called in sick anyway. Sucks to be in the white pride party. I'm gonna be honest, you seem like the most boring piece of shit I ever met. Huh? Well, wait, most I've ever met would mean you stand out in some way. You're a very run-of-the-mill waste of time. I, I don't get it. what I do? You have time for the whole list? I guess. First, you wear classic rock t-shirts from Walmart. Girls don't compliment how you dress, so you settled for old people high-fiving you for being retro. Nah, people think I'm cool. Rapid fire of assumptions, tell me if I get any wrong. You call your bicycle a BMX, like energy drinks, take pictures of your skateboarding wounds, mention to anyone they can't get addicted to marijuana, and own a guitar pick necklace. Well, uh, all right, I I'll, I'll see you later then. Hey, I've seen your ass around here before. It's my first day, you sure about that? Whatever, all you hot girls look the same. That was real discreet. Gotta be, especially cutting under this school security. Uh-huh. And a girl like you skipping the first day? Are you a bad bitch or what? I'm an abysmal bitch. Fucking cool, rock on. So what do you do here, like cheerleading? Doesn't pay, so no. Well, I'm on the lacrosse team. Last season we went seven and five, like above 500, not bad. It's my life pretty much. How can you make lacrosse your life? There's no pro league for it, is there? Well, I'm sure they're out there. Besides, we only lost like five games because I fucked my knee up and couldn't play the rest of the season. But it's pretty badass because they keep giving me Percocet. Cool, seriously? How much? Enough to demotivate an elephant. I got them right here, you want to do them with me? They only kind of get you fucked up, but it's good. Like, I'd love to, but I kind of make too good of decisions to get high with a stranger. Oh, come on, don't be a pussy. We fucking go to the same school. I'm a student athlete. People know me here. Yeah, student athletes, kind of the red flag here. If I pop too many, I'm going to wake up with my thighs covered in butter. Bro, I have done literally nothing to give you this impression of me. You ever played with a sleeping teammate's ass? Well, like not in a gay way. Uh-huh. How is that gay? Whatever, I'm going to lunch. It was nice meeting you, very straight, non-rapist. <laughs> yeah, making friends. <laughs> God damn, this school's nothing but rapists and pedophiles. Tell me about it. Oh, sorry. If you're sitting here, I can go somewhere else. Nah, I don't think anyone's showing up. Go ahead. Thanks. What's your name? Jekka. Now, before I ask your name, I just want to ask what happened to you. Like, it took me two years to figure out this school sucks. You did it on your first day. What's up? A lacrosse player wanted me to get high. Like Benadryl or a prescription high? Full on Percocet, dude. Oh, that's um, fuck, what was his name? Kyler, yeah. Yeah, he's a bit of a benzosexual. What the fuck's a benzosexual? Attracted to the unconscious. Oh. Well, hi, I'm Nicole. I just dodged a bullet. Cool, hey. Um, so the other guys you gotta watch out for are usually into some form of feet. Free Percocet? Hell yeah, hand it over. This is actually my Mexican cartel supply, but it probably won't kill you. My feet feel great. I could fall asleep standing right now. Yeah, I told you, it was good shit. I'm sorry, are we lost? Both of you should be in class. This isn't a skip period. Oh, fuck. Uh, hey dude, we were just on our way, you know? What are you hiding there? Oh, shit. Prescription pills? Whose are these? Actually, it doesn't matter. You're both in big trouble! Wait, wait, what? Oh, don't play dumb. I didn't do anything. I was on my way back from the bathroom, and this guy just stopped me trying to sell his... For second? For... Um, 
I don't know, but he won't leave me alone. Oh, come on. Trying to find yet another customer, huh, Kyler? Come with me! Bro, what the fuck? You're seriously believing that? I don't want to hear it. Come with me! You're such a fucking bitch, dude. Like, not cool. Oh, lunchtime. That was the ultimate win-win. Hey, uh, are you okay? What? Oh, no, I'm good as shit, dude. I don't feel great. Just nice. So, is anyone else gonna be sitting here, or...? Oh, sit here all you want. I'm new here. I have no say. Cool, thanks. Um, I'm just gonna say it. Are you fucked up? Are you? Emotionally, absolutely. I'm not rich enough to turn down free Percocet. Yeah, that lacrosse guy loves the new girls. Did you pocket any? Can I have one? No, it got broken up real quick. A teacher caught us, and I just pinned it on him. That's fucking badass. What's your name? I'm Nicole. But don't say that really loud. I don't want these people to know me. Don't worry, I know. So, what electives are you taking? Uh, like, uh, is English an elective? It should be, but no. Okay, then. It was photography. Me too. We might be in the same class. If you like to get that excited about it, yeah, we might be. Oh, you're too cool for school? Well, no. Right now I feel warm as hell. Have you popped Perk? It's a blanket and a pill. Yeah, I popped Perk. How the fuck is it a blanket and a pill? It turns off all the coldness sensors. You just feel nice and cozy. You're fun. In trouble? Fuck you, I'm not in anything! Uh, yeah, you definitely are in trouble. Well, you're in the Model Train Fan Club, you freak. I'm not in the Model Train Fan Club. I just sponsored the Model Train Fan Club. That's even worse. You look new here. I'm not sure what you think you're doing, but I can assure you it won't last long. A bitch can't pop perks here? What the fuck? What if I had glaucoma? But you don't have glaucoma. And you just confessed to drug use on school grounds. Come with me, both of you. Honey... What the fuck is wrong with you? A two-day suspension on the first day of school? It was like one pill. He's just mad I made him feel insecure, so he threw the book at me. Look, I know you're acting out because of your father. Mom, literally no one ever has actively thought, I'm gonna act out today. What does that even mean? I'm gonna look cool by disrespecting my parents. This is a world you and everyone who crochets created. She kinda has a point with that, Bob. You kinda need to get a fucking job. You're 26. I told you the economy's bad. Blame Bush. And these girls I chat with online fully agree. Mom, still, I can't believe you're taking the school side with this. It's totally against all my citizen rights. They had you sign something that waives those rights. You're 16, you don't even have rights. Well, you do, right? Sue the school or something. You're at the only public school for miles and miles. What happens if you're gone for good, huh? I'm not moving again, I'm not paying for private school, and I'm definitely not homeschooling. Fine, I won't blow it then. I won't squeal a bit. A teacher could just break the shit out of me, but I won't say a word because we gotta stay in this shithole. Good. I'm glad we understand each other. Mom! I could just get assaulted? You wouldn't care? You've been pulling the sexual assault card since you were 12. Hasn't happened yet, has it? That's not the fucking point! Well, you can figure out a new excuse locked in your bedroom for the next two days. Fine! I have my own computer. Grounding doesn't do shit anymore. Yeah, baby, you hear this? This is some real music. Now join my party chat we can game. What, what the fuck are you doing? It's 1 a.m. I go back to school tomorrow. Bro, you're being seriously fail right now. Seriously fail? Those words don't even go together. You sound like an idiot. Look, I'm just recording a little voice message for this hottie I met online that I'm done, okay? This is like the fifth hottie in two days. Do you know how old any of these girls are? Like, legal in her country, don't worry about it. Oh my god, this is bad. I'm just trying to score some 15 year old Canadian ass, hop off it. 15 isn't legal anywhere. Calling her Canadian ass doesn't make that better. Well, no, you know how like Canadian bacon is just ham? C Canadian ass is just a mature 15 year old, see, same thing. You're, oh my god. Could you just help me record this message so we can both go to bed quicker? Hey, um, did you get that new shooter game? The one where you're a white guy shooting brown people in a non-racist way? A warfare? Yeah, hell yeah, I got it. Had to steal out of mom's purse, but it's get paid or get played, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I guess. Can I play with you? I thought you didn't like video games anymore. 
I started using an anti-aging cream, so my hobby should match my skin. Oh, works for me, but you're player two, bitch. How could any adult woman not like video games? What's the point? Whatever girl you're hitting up is probably ugly compared to what I could find. You haven't even seen her avatar. She's like so hot. Where are you logged in at? I bet I could find a better one. You're on. See? This girl right here. Kinky Kenzie 93. Her bio's like, only interested in older guys, so hit me up whenever. Up for anything. Man, she's sexy. She's also 14. Shut up with that ageist bullshit. Oh man, she's just a town over too. I'm gonna message her. What should I say? You're like a legal adult. Shouldn't you know how to do this by now? Yeah, but you're a girl. You know what girls want to hear? Come on. All right, fine. Um, first tell her you're 26. Girls who like older men are all about that age difference. Okay, what else? Say you want to buy her drugs and alcohol. And no pussy shit, like full-on heroin. I'm sure other guys promise that too, though, right? When guys hit you up, what do they never do? Hmm. Oh, at the bottom, type an acrostic poem using your driver's license number. I don't know. But, like, have the message of the poem be about how you don't want to use a condom. Dude! That's like genius! She's gonna so want the D! Oh! What do you want? Are you dating site user Heavy D No MC? I, yeah, but I don't know what that has to do with you busting in here. By the way, that's like a sick username, right? You're under arrest uh, for uh, digital misconduct with a minor. Oh, that Kenzie bitch snitched me out! God damn it! Rest assured, there was no Kenzie. We can talk all about how you fell for a sting operation downtown. I was set up! Fucking Nicole, you bitch! My first phone call is gonna be a bomb threat to your friends! My big mistake wasn't getting suspended, but getting suspended on the first day before meeting anyone. I know I can't look badass when I come back. Hey, what's up? I haven't seen you around for a couple days. Fuck off and die. What? Uh... Uh, all right. Hey, you don't look familiar at all. Are you new here? Kinda. I'm back from a two-day suspension. It's the third day of school. I don't beat around the bush. You're cool as shit. What's your name? Call me Nicole. Hey, I'm Jekka. So, how do you know Crispin? Who's Crispin? That guy you were just talking to. Oh, guitar pick necklace? Both days I've been here, he's tried talking to me. I have no idea who he is. He's kind of nice. I wouldn't be surprised if he burned down a convenience store, but yeah, he's nice. I'll tolerate just about anyone after being locked up with my brother for two days. Oh, is he younger? Into really loud, violent video games? Close. He's 26 and into really loud, violent video games. Oh, that's tragic. He lives at home still? Yeah, he's never even attempted couch surfing. Can he get, like, a boyfriend to live off or something? No, he's not gay. At least not that kind. And then can he, like... Turn gay and get a boyfriend to live off? Fucked up. I asked that exact same question, and all he said was, bottoms don't top FPS leaderboards. Oh, so he's, like, really into video games. Is he one of those guys that, like, end up on the news for messaging kids? Last night, he begged a 15-year-old for naked pictures. Oh my god, he's that guy. Is he in prison yet? Uh, we'll see. Hey, I'd love to hang around more, but I gotta get to class. Where are you headed to? And so you see, the aperture actually gets wider the lower the f-stop gets. Did I really forget my eyeliner? Ahem. Ahem. Dude, you really need that cough like that. It's kind of annoying. This isn't cosmetics class, Nicole. I know that. So pay attention to the photography lecture in photography class. I'll be done in like two seconds. Just calm down. Now, Nicole. Now nothing. Literally, go fuck yourself. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you disrupt my lecture? It's disrespectful to me and your classmates. You can't trick anyone here into being mad at me when no one gives a shit about your class in the first place. Well, how would you like a failing grade? How would all of you like a failing grade? I mean, I guess it's fine. It's an elective. Yeah, Mr. White, you can't keep us from graduating. You tell him, Nicole. Shut the fuck up, you finger skateboard bitch. Dude, I was just trying to help. Yeah, you were trying something. How would you like a visit to the counselor's office? The principal's office? 
Hey, if you think not listening to you talk is discipline, then I'm gone. No problem. <laughs> Out. <laughs> no. Again, Nicole. Can we just pretend you said a lot of stuff so I can leave early? The principal ordered for you to be in this room for one hour. Well, I order no mayo at Dairy Queen, but you still see them slapping the shit on. And what do you mean by that? How are you feeling? I'm saying if a whole company like them can't get my order right, then what's one guy like you? Mistakes happen. They can try again after the next soccer practice. I think we got a bit sidetracked here. No, not just sidetracked. I fucking derailed this shit. Talking out of turn in class, bullying classmates, talking back to faculty. Is this really the legacy you want to leave here? I'm sorry, legacy? Yes, your mark, your impact left on the student body. Graduation's only a few months away, you know. See, I'm glad you brought that up. I will literally never see any of these people again after graduation. There's no point in socially trying with anyone here. You must have someone you'd like to stay in touch with after graduation. Nope. Not even your friend Jessica? Jessica's like, okay, but I'm not going out of my way to hang out with her. Isn't legacy for like a major career or something? Your high school career. Oh, is this a career now? What's my salary? A $2 lunch and 20 years of sexual harassment trauma? Such pessimism at such a young age. When you're an adult, you learn how to truly love life. Oh, I'm sure there's tons of life to love. None of it having anything to do with this high school. Why would I care what some kid sitting two rows back from me thinks? It's not about right now. It's the tons of fun memories you can revel in years after college. Okay, um, I know you work here and employee culture keeps your checks signed, but anyone well into their 20s still thinking about how high school was is a fucking waste of space. Perhaps I should introduce you to some of our class of 87 alumni. Many of them are teachers here today. So they're the lower middle class of 87? No thanks. Say that to all the guys who go here. It's like a co-ed prison without tattoos. Do you think it's a tad irresponsible to point fingers at others when you're the one in question here? Aren't you Mr. Child Psychologist? Like, trauma and all that shapes who we are? Well, yes, I have several degrees in pediatric psychology. What's your point? Every dude here is like a rapist or drug addict or trying to turn you into a drug addict. Have you tried stopping the problem at its source? I understand some of the male students here can be problematic, but you can always get help from a teacher or- The teachers are trying to fuck me too, you're all psychotic. A few months ago, Mr. Burliday was really feeling up one of my friends. And just last week, the coach was staring down my shirt during push-up tests. I try to level with all my students, so can you really blame him? Some of your attire has been quite low-cut here. Go on. To be honest, I've had trouble looking away the entire time you've been here. You're a beautiful young woman. Are you kidding me right now? Where's the hidden camera? What show is this? What are you talking about? You're like acting for a prank show, right? I'm waiting for someone more attractive than you to walk in so I can pretend to laugh. Nicole, there's no prank here. Oh, so you're just seriously a pedophile. Awesome. Last year, did we ever have our little chat on social constructs? I'm leaving. Nicole? I'm trying to make a depression playlist on iTunes. What is it? Well, nothing really. I'm just wondering why you've been so exhausted lately. People, Mom. You're being nice, right? Trying to get along? Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that's my problem. Never putting up a fight. Never telling men I'm not their emotional wheelchair. Well, sweetie, I'm not sure if being confrontational is the key to happiness. You're a beautiful girl. Don't have an ugly personality towards anyone. So, I should, like, spread myself thin so anyone can have a place in my life? Don't put it so negatively. All I'm saying is, be inclusive. Give people a chance. What if they're bad people? I don't believe in anyone being inherently bad. Yeah, I guess the pedophiles trying to abduct me on MySpace are just misunderstood. Always a negative spin. Just promise you'll try. Try to be nice and make time for people. The connections you start early come in handy later on. Don't screw up here. Ugh, fine. Thank you. I promise it'll pay off. I'll be your enabling little princess.
But whatever, now my mom's addicted to heroin again. How was your spring break? Exhausting. I thought everyone would just forget about the hangout promises I made over the winter. The thing where you tell them you're really busy for midterms, but should have time in the spring? Yeah, I thought most of them would just forget. Not when you're hot. They never forget when you're hot. I'm hot? You fish for compliments? Whatever, yeah. So not a single free day to myself, having to meet dipshits X, Y, and Z at the mall, or the park, or the diner. What kind of Mormon-ass bitch meets at a diner? They all blend together, couldn't tell ya. Worst part is, I'm at this point where I'm too nice to even decline the follow-up hangouts. Hey, let's do this again. Maybe next week, same time. Yeah, so now it's the bullshit I put up with on break combined with the bullshit I put up with at school. Really makes you question the whole point of niceness. Being nice just traps you into these hostage friendships. Socializing honestly kind of sucks now. You're starting to sound like that weird kid, Jeffrey. Yeah, Jeffrey's one of my hangouts this week. Oh my god, you're that far in? That's like church girl nice. Tell him to fuck off. I can't. I feel like I'm at a point of no return. If I try to escape now, he'll just stalk me. Don't be so cynical. He'll probably just murder you. Dying would be awesome right now, but I feel like there'd be strings attached with him. You're dead. What could he possibly do? Your body doesn't disappear when you die, so whatever his twisted little anime brain wants... Ew, okay. But if he actually killed you, could I take your body to a taxidermist? Yes. Good to know. Have fun with your little dates. Ugh. So this is your place, huh? That's the third time you said that. Sorry, yeah, today's just been wild, crazy. That's the fourth time you said that. Oh, uh, pretty sweet your mom's out of town. You could throw a whole party, right? If I liked people enough to let them destroy my house, then yeah, absolutely. Aw, oh, man, don't be a downer. You kind of remind me of this one girl from a local punk band around here. She kind of gets standoffish, too. I'm standoffish? N not like it's a bad thing, just more like the band makes her image that. I, I think they were called, uh... Man, I, I can't even think right now. <laughs> Has it really only been 20 minutes? Hey, I, I just wanted to let you know, you're actually really pretty. I know. Pretty and, like, pretty cool, too? Your taste in music, it's like, it's like nothing I've ever heard before. You really know your stuff. No, I don't. I had Sean Kingston on for the last hour. Humble, too? Like, you're different. I'm not having sex with you. Whoa, what are you talking about? Fucking you was like the last thing on my mind. Unless you'd want to. You've worn the same Volcom socks for like two weeks. So that's a no? It's cool if it is. But yeah, it might seem crowded now, but you should see this place on Friday. What? I said you should see this place on Friday! Okay. You see me at the hoops machine? I'm sick. You couldn't keep up. Yeah, I really should have taken it more seriously. I'm 17 after all. And the skee-ball machine? Don't take it too hard. I make everyone look trash at it. All of this behavior is telling. Yeah, telling pussy-ass bitches to suck my dick. I think I should start making rap songs. My dad has a MacBook. But yeah, season four? Not really for me personally. How about you? Sorry, season four of what now? The Doki Daisuke anime? You've been paying attention, right? To the first three seasons, or are you talking for the last 20 minutes? Actually, it's the same answer for both. Yeah, I know. What were the writers thinking? I'm actually involved with an online group, and we're going to reanimate season four the way the fans wanted it. Like a whole cartoon? Yeah, you want to join? We could use all the help we could get. I guess. Animation takes a lot of time, right? At least you weird kids put your time towards something. Oh, well, actually, we haven't found an animator yet. Yeah, but one of our friend's cousins might do it after he graduates from media school. For free? Yeah, just for the love of the show. Oh, okay, I'm not joining then. Huh? Why not? There's no difference whether I join or not join, because this will never be made. Well, if you feel that way... Do you know why it's so hard to find animators? I don't know why the fuck I'm here. I even had to pay for my own shitty cheeseburger. I'm gonna start telling men I'm vegan so they stop trying to take me places. But yeah, Kelly's a fucking whore and I hope she dies. End of discussion. I'm not opposed to that stance. How about you, Nicole? 
Nicole. Huh? Oh, sorry. I'm exhausted somehow. You've been tuning out all lunch. She's been down the being nice rabbit hole since spring break. Poor new kid. It's like you know they want to fuck, but they won't just ask so you can reject them and put an end to the friendship. How'd you even let it get to the point of a friendship anyway? Because I'm a fucking pushover, okay? Thank you for reminding me. Oh, now don't be a bitch about it. Let's just enjoy our cancerous meatloaf in peace. Fine, sorry. Oh, Nicole, what's up? You still on for tonight? Fucking Crispin! What about me? Don't worry about it. Yeah, I think so. Cool. The concert's gonna be sick with you there. Shit, that concert was tonight? You are exhausted. Who's playing? Literal nobodies, just cover bands. Why would you agree to that? She's in too deep to say no. Yeah, someone told me they saw you at a place with that weird Japan kid. Wow, you actually went through with that. You need to have some kind of limit. How can I rank who and who not to hang out with when they're all equally shitty to me? Are you suicidal? Oh my god, don't just ask that. Seriously, though? Yes, very. Yeah, me too. Same. But you're not just suicidal. You're, like, depressed, too. Maybe you should just blow off that concert. But then I won't hear the end of it. Can't please everybody. Well, if you're suicidal, just go home and kill yourself. Then he's the asshole. True, yeah. Okay, that's off. Mom shouldn't be back from her date for another four hours, so that's plenty of time. Are you kidding me? I just want to slice my wrist dramatically and this is killing the whole vibe. Whatever, I want to die, it doesn't matter how. Nicole, I forgot my wallet, just getting it. Oh my God, Nicole! Huh, what? What did you do to yourself? Can I just die in peace? Where's the cordless? I'm calling an ambulance. It'll be okay, sweetie. Yeah, it'd be a lot better if you just fucking left. Hello? Yes, my daughter attempted suicide. There's blood everywhere. Please send someone. What's it like to be happy? Like happy happy? Sure, I can have fun, think something's cool, have a good time. None of that outweighs wanting to die. Mom had me locked up in a mental ward until my 18th birthday. So I learned what crazy pills actually do to you. They don't make anyone happier. Just more content with limbo. What sucks worse than killing yourself is fucking up killing yourself. You don't get to be a black and white headshot for eternity. You're just really awkward to hang out with. talking about fire. I left, moved on to bigger and better things. No, I'm pretty positive you got fired after groping me and seven other girls. Yeah, I'm a player, don't remind me. What say you and me get out of here? I want to show you my new ride. You know, I'd love to chill in the back seat with a registered sex offender, but I might miss the next shitty band, so... Come on, Nicole. None of these high school boys are at this level. I actually prefer 25 seconds of intercourse. Just shut up and get in my car. No! Fine! You think I don't have any pull now that I'm not your gym teacher, but think again! My players love me, and they all keep in touch. Are you threatening me? I didn't do anything. Yet. Fuck this, I'm out of here. Wait, you're gonna miss three more cover bands. Hey, how was the concert last weekend? One as expected. Makes sense. So hey, you want to skip fourth period and buy cigarettes off that weird guy that hangs out in front of our school? 
I would, but I've just lost the will to do anything. And fourth period's one of my sleeping classes. Come on, I can't go alone. We skip all the time together. What if he kidnaps me? What am I gonna do? Use my tiny arms to rip you from his grasp? This is bullshit. What? You blow all your time on these idiots you don't even like, and now you can't even hang when it's someone you do like? I know, but like, I'm too far in. It's gonna be a nightmare if I tell everyone to fuck off now. You have a choice to make. It's either me or your hostage friendships. End of discussion. Fuck. Well, now I gotta think if I love you more than I hate being stalked. If you don't have an answer by fourth period, I'll have one for you. See ya, Nicole. God, I wish I was a lesbian. You fucking whore! <gasps> no, a lesbian. Didn't I go to an arcade with you? Why are you mad? It's a barcade? You know why. Everyone in lacrosse is talking about it. I... I don't... Get it. Is this for YouTube or something? You fucked the whole football team! No, I didn't. Wait, even if I did, why do you care? We weren't even together. Fuck off. All those times I took you out, and you had the nerve to have sex with everyone but me! Yeah, me too. If I knew you were easy, I would have tried more when I took you out. I'm done with you. From now on, I'm gonna make your life a living hell! My cousin's gonna hack your MySpace when I tell him you use me. What the fuck is this? You all insisted that I hung out with you, not the other way around. Then why'd you keep doing it if you didn't want to date, huh? You kept offering. I was trying to be nice. Yeah, I kept offering to lube up the prude, but looks like you were a manipulative slut the whole fucking time! A grown man actually started a rumor about me. Somebody steal her backpack! Yeah, we gotta get our money back somehow! I didn't fuck anyone! Oh, you're actually here. Good, I need some help. Nicole, what a pleasant surprise. Yeah, yeah, um, you're like student relations, right? You can talk to kids and get them to calm down? To an extent, what's the matter? Well, see, all these guys I hung out with before, who took the hanging out as dating, yeah, so they all suddenly want to kill me because I won't have sex with them. Kill is a rather strong word, don't you think? Would you say they're more... upset? Why does this matter? Let's try a different angle. Why are they suddenly all expecting this sex at the same time? I'd rather not get into it. Long story. Really weird and embarrassing. Fair enough. What I'll say is, when people find themselves in situations where it's ten on one, it'd be a tad irrational to immediately rule out the conflict being your fault. No, I get that, but the gym teacher, he was at this concert and now, like- Now hold on. So why are they upset with you again? Because I didn't have sex with them. So sexual frustration. Natural for all boys of their age. But what provokes that? Hormones? Teasing. Are we being a tease, Nicole? And you're actually employed here? Don't deflect. You're usually so... sharing. How am I sharing? For instance, how you shared your body with the varsity football team? No. Oh, now don't be ashamed. You should be proud of your spontaneity. In fact, I think I'll take you out on a personal field trip. I'd love to explore this curious side of you. Go fuck yourself! I'm seeing the principal. Might not be the best use of your time. Principal Lin knows, too. We all do. The faculty can't hang themselves over protecting one amorous girl now, can they? I can. People are books, puzzles, and pawns. In that order. First they're read, then they're figured out, then they're persuaded. Some would call that wrongly manipulative, but what's the alternative? Basically any advice my mom's ever given me? Don't be mean, don't judge, be open. And yeah, sure, but that only works when men don't want to have sex with you. Be tolerant of guys who get off by choking you. No way that goes south. What's wrong with a pizza delivery boy with no career goals? When's the last time you asked your pizza man if he's a rapist? They're called warning signs, but ignoring them makes you a nice person. And one day, if you're a nice enough girl, you'll end up just like me. And just like my dad. If you're reading this, I'm dead.
fuck were you? Long story. Well, no, it's actually short. I just don't feel like telling you. Okay, whatever. Can we go now? All the good graduation parties are gonna be out of coke if we go too late. Is there coke at the bad graduation parties or just the good ones? What do you think makes them good? I thought you were a pharma princess. Since when do you want hard shit? Since we graduated and I don't give a fuck anymore? Doing coke in high school is depressing, but I'm gonna be in college soon. Whose line is it anyway? Mine. I'm wearing Brady in this bitch, ho. You wanna be some cokehead bitch in college? Cause if you do, I fully support it. You'd be like 10 times hotter. Oh my god, I know. I wanna like, go full out of control and then marry some rich med major who wants to save me. Ultimate goal. Is that the ceiling for us? What's the big idea, huh? I don't know, I only have little ideas. Yeah, and I got medium ideas. You ruined the whole graduation ceremony! I was valedictorian and everything! What did anybody do to you anyway? Everybody's always nice to you and calls you pretty and all you wanna do is hurt them! Well, shoot, if they call me pretty. Uh, and more than that, they give you things, always help you, and then I just see you screw them over! All I see is you being mean for the sake of being mean! It's like a game to you! You want me to tell you what you don't see? I've seen enough. Have you ever seen a man three times your age ask you to fuck him? Like just this week, or...? What? Be serious! Sorry, how about 60 texts in one night all threatening you if you don't go out with the pizza delivery man who sent them? How would you let some crazy guy get your number like that in the first place? I ordered pizza with my cell phone. I know your pasty white ass wouldn't get what being in demand is like, but it's a tough job, Jeffrey. And you don't even get paid. But if you do, you're a whore. Are you getting it, Jeffrey? So people like you. Boo hoo. They don't just like us. They're obsessed with us. Obsession leads to a lot of crazy shit. And you give the wrong bitch enough crazy shit in her life, she just might snap on everybody. Sounds like a good problem to have. I'd rather be surrounded by craziness instead of still being lonely. You don't know what that feels like. You don't know what life is like wanting a partner and being ignored by everyone. You're spoiled by social attention and you don't even know it. Is this your manifesto? My what? At least wait till we get to college before you kill us, okay? I never said I'd do that. What college you guys going to anyway? What college are we going to? Could be Maryland. Or Florida. Maybe Cal State. You're gonna have to shoot up every school in the country at this rate. Oh, every time I try having a regular conversation, you just make it a joke about me. Like I said, socially spoiled. A little bit. Can someone be spoiled by not having a daily fight or flight moment? What? Like I should be you for a day? You're way too ugly to be her for a day. But, well... She gets too much attention to know how much it hurts to be me for a day. I guess we'll never know.